What is going on guys? My name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 livestream. Today I'm going to be doing a huge spending spree of $25 million purchasing all the new cars, vehicles, properties, clothing items and so on that have been added into GTA Online today in the further adventures in finance and felony update. Hope the live stream is working, you guys can hear me, hopefully you can see me and all that sort of stuff. As you can see right now, I'm sitting in the brand new Pegasi Reaper, one of the eight new cars in the game. So let's go ahead and just get straight into things. So uh, I've already purchased this vehicle just so I can, you know, sort of cut down on that two minute wait time to get vehicles delivered. So we can go ahead and customize this straight away. But before we do so, I'm going to go ahead and purchase all the other cars. So once we've customized this one, I can go ahead and get straight into customizing all the other ones. So. Let's start off on the Legendary Motorsports website, which has a brand new appearance. As you can see here, we have the Pegasi Reaper, which is very similar to the one which I have right now. And uh, it's a very good looking uh, car, to be fair. Uh, but as you can see, I've already purchased the Pegasi Reaper. It costs $1.6 million, near enough. Uh, then we've got the Vapid FMJ, another very cool car, which I know you guys love. So let me go ahead and purchase this one. I'm going to go ahead and just buy it in white for now. So that's going to be delivered to there. So that's $1.75 million right there, which actually I think is very, very cheap uh, for it. For the simple fact that I thought both this car and the Pegasi Reaper were going to be twice as expensive, if not more. Let's go ahead and purchase the Grotti uh, Bestia GTS also. This is $610,000, which I think is cheaper than it was going to be. Uh, I think I predicted about a million dollars for this car, maybe slightly more. So um, this one's underpriced. But then again, its performance isn't that good, and you'll see why later on in the live stream. We go ahead and purchase this one. What's next? We have the... Oh, of course, we got two, of the, two versions of the uh, Benefactor XLS. We've got the standard version, just like this one. I'm just going to go ahead and purchase this one in white. Also the regular version, have that delivered to this house and uh, I'm also going to purchase the armored variant too. I'll get that in black. I'm not too sure if actually selecting a color does anything because it looks more like navy as opposed to black but let me go ahead and purchase it anyway. That's $522,000 for the armored variant. Twice as expensive or close enough to twice as expensive uh, than the standard variant. And the final vehicle then to purchase on the uh, Legendary Motorsports website, of course, is the Ennis Windsor Drop. So it's basically a convertible variant of the Ennis Windsor. Now, I myself haven't actually bought this one or seen it in game yet, so this will be the first time for me. I'm just going to go ahead and get this one in. Oh, we'll go for Hot Pink this time. Why not? A color I don't usually select. Um, why is my keyboard not working? I think the batteries are running low again. I keep. I keep changing the batteries in this thing all the time. It's a uh, wireless keyboard, or supposedly is. Um, let's go back to the uh, Southern San Andreas Supra, uh, Super Autos. Uh, so this this here, we can purchase the uh, Bravado Rumpo Custom uh, for $130,000. Let's go ahead and purchase that. My keyboard seems to be working now. Good, good, good. And uh, yes, so we purchased pretty much all the cars that we can buy and store in our garage. Um, you can see here we've just had the FMJ delivered, so whilst they're all delivering, let me drive down to the custom shop. No, Dom, I don't want to talk to you. Let's go down to the custom shop right now and uh, start customizing this one. So, uh, you guys may have seen earlier on YouTube, I've already uploaded, I think it's like nine videos a day. It's been an absolute grind. I've been sweating all day, just testing out all the new content, customizing it, trying it all out, that sort of stuff. Uh, so if you guys want to see an individual customization guide on all the vehicles uh, and all that sort of stuff, just go to my channel. There's all sorts of stuff on there. Plus, there's also three hidden secret supercars, or like high-end cars at least, uh, in this update, which aren't available right now, but will be making their way to the game in the coming weeks. Okay, so let's start off by customizing the Pegasi Reaper. Uh, now this one doesn't have many customization options. It's got all the standard stuff, like the armor, the brakes, uh, the engine upgrades, of course. Uh, let's put on the, uh, the jazz loop will do. I'm not really too bothered about horns, to be honest. Uh, lights, xenon, of course. I'm not really a huge fan of the neon kits. I'm sure you guys know that by now if you've tuned into previous live streams. But I'm going to go ahead and select it anyway. And 
I actually love this car in red and black. You can't actually change the second color, so you can't change the color of uh, the side skirts, um, I think, unless I'm thinking of the wrong car, but we'll see now. It might be this one you can change the secondary color of, and it's not the Ferrari one, the other one, maybe. I might be getting confused. Ignore me if that's the case. Uh, plates, we're going to go ahead and put black ones on. I seem to always do that. It's a shame you can't change the color of the text, too, so it could be black and white. I'd much prefer that. Uh, but yellow and black will have to do for now. Respray. Oh, okay. There, yeah, you can actually uh, change the primary and secondary on this one. It must be the other car I'm thinking about. But I actually love this car in the black and red, so I'm going to leave it as that. Uh, spoiler. Now, you can fit a low-level spoiler, which I think looks pretty good on this car. I'm not really a huge fan of the high-level spoiler, but the carbon wing is also a very good-looking one. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one, too. That was $13,000 suspension. My keyboard is playing up. The slam against the desk, it always solves the problem. Um, there we go, put the lowest suspension on. Available, transmission, we'll go ahead and fit the race one. Pretty much just select all the good stuff. And if you watch my customization guide on this car before, I actually said I really do like these wheels, and that's why I didn't change them. I probably won't do now. I don't think you can actually buy these yet from the custom shop, so I am not going to change those. Uh, and then for Windows, finally, limo tints. So there we go. And I think, yep, that is it for the customization of this car. So this so far is probably one of my favorite new cars uh, in this update. I don't know if it's my favorite yet, We'll go through all the cars, just sort of rejog uh, my memory, and then I'll give you guys my final verdict. But uh, let me know your thoughts and feelings, guys. Uh, what is your favorite car from this update? Have you guys tried them all out yet? Okay, so let's uh, have a quick drive around with this one right now. I think we've spent roughly... Uh, it was 1.6 million to purchase the car. It's probably about 400,000 for all the upgrades. So I'm going to say around about $2 million we spent on this car in total. That's to fully upgrade it. So we've got $23 million remaining to spend. I've actually got a lot more money than that, but I'm predicting it's around about $25 million to buy everything, including properties, cars, and stuff like that. It's a really nice sounding car, to be fair. Flames out the back. You can't change the exhaust, but uh, the four on the back right there are really good looking, to be fair. It's a really nice looking car. Quick drive down here. We'll just uh, go down to the end and turn around. But, uh, I know there are many of you guys out there that don't really have much money in GTA Online. But I have been giving out some shark cars over the past few days. Uh, I think I've given out something like uh, four three and a half million dollar ones. And I've given out two uh, one million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, something like that, over on uh, the Fan Messenger app and Twitter. Unfortunately, the Fan Messenger app right now is down. Uh, for those people that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, basically I can text out shark cars to you guys. I will be doing that later this week if the messenger is back up. If you guys want to sign up to that, there's a link in the description, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, I will try and give out some more over the next few days because I know you guys are desperate for money to purchase some of these new vehicles, become a CEO and get your own office and stuff like that. But we'll get into all that a little bit later. Oops, just smash into the sign. You guys right now are saying that you like the FMJ more than this one. The FMJ, again, is a really sort of peculiar looking car. It does look nice from some angles, but I don't know, it's something about the front of the car that I'm not 100% on. I'm sure over time I'll get used to it, but I'm not quite there yet. Okay, so there we go. That was pretty quick. I have customized that one right now. Let's move on to the FMJ yet. Oh, uh, next, sorry, not yet. Okay, so this is the FMJ. It looks really good from the back, to be fair. It's supposed to be based on the Aston Market Aston Martin, Aston Martin Vulcan, get there eventually, and the Ford GT 2017 model. But it's a very nice car overall. Although I think the lights from the back that you can see, I'm pretty sure they're off, they're off a um, Ferrari. But do correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, someone asked, is there going to be a discount this weekend on some of these cars uh, in the special event weekend? Um, I think there's supposed to be a special event week on right now. Starting today, ends June... 13 so that's next Monday so no there isn't but there are discounts on select items in game I think it's all the old content uh, I think the buzzard you can purchase for half half the money I think something along those lines just go ahead and customize this car then now earlier I think I put this in a dark blue it was the sort of Ford GT 2017 color that I, I saw on Google it looked really good 
I'm going to try a few other colours first before I select anything, but this car does look good and a huge range of colours. Uh, you guys right now are all saying you love this car. By the way, we've got just over 1,200 people watching the stream. Hello to everybody that has tuned in. I will, of course, be doing some shout-outs towards the end of the stream. Uh, but moving on to the front bumpers. We've got a primary colour trim. We've got the matte, and, of course, we've got the carbon. I'm not really a huge fan of carbon, so I'm going to go ahead and set the matte black trim engine. Of course, best upgrades. We'll just select the truck on for now. It's nice and loud. Uh, lights. Let's go ahead and put some xenons on. And of course, a nice neon kit. Although I think I might have to come back and change the color because obviously I'm not too sure right now what I'm going to go with in regards to its paint job. So remind me, guys. Spam the chat if you need to. I do forget very, very easily, as I'm sure you guys know. Um, as always yellow on black license plate respray let's go ahead and take a look at this now this car doesn't actually have many customization options for it either just like the reaper which is a bit disappointing but then again it's one of those cars that just looks crazy anyway there isn't much you would want to do to it uh, okay let's go through the primary color options metallic of course and we'll go all the way to the top and start from black so let's go through these sort of fairly quickly I think it does look nice in white to be fair but I want a, co a color like makes it stand out. Maybe something nice and bright, but uh, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment on the live stream. So red does look pretty good, but I'm gonna go with something else, I think. So we've got different reds, pink, lovely pink, Vista pink, orange again, another very good looking color on this car. Bright orange, I imagine this car would look good in race yellow. Actually no, it's not that good. I thought it would look better than it does. Uh, do yellow, then we've got dark green. Of course, this is being the sort of Aston Martin Vulcan color, but I can't say it really suits it. Uh, you guys were all saying we should go with blue. Yes, I went with blue earlier. Got lime green, midnight blue. I'm probably going to go with dark blue again. I'm going to go ahead and just purchase it just in case I uh, want to go back to it. But uh, this is the color I selected earlier, and it did look really good. Someone said lime green. Yes, to be fair, it did look good. Standard blue. What about ultra blue? I imagine that would look good. Ultra blue, yes. Oh, no, there we go. Ultra blue. That would really stand out in races, wouldn't it? But I imagine a lot of people will go ahead and select things such as uh, ultra blue, orange, lime green, that sort of thing. And I want to try and make mine a little bit different. That's why I've gone with the dark blue. Uh, let's go through all the rest anyway. Brown. This card does look good in pretty much anything. I think I saw a gold one earlier on the social club, which also looked really good. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So... I have a quick look at the gold ones, why not? I'll go down to brush gold. In the night, this one does look good. I've seen some pictures of it. But brush gold and pure gold. But I'm going to stick with the dark blue for now. And as for the secondary, I'm probably going to leave that on the uh, black. Just like I did earlier today in the customization guide. Okay, let's move on to the roof options. Now, you do have the option to fit a roof scoop, which is right by here. But you can still see the engine. Whereas if you fit one of the other ones... Uh, you can place a uh, roof scoop over the engine so you haven't got to see it. It all depends whether you like to see it or not. Uh, personally, I think it looks better without, uh, sorry, with, uh, with the cover on the engine. But it'd be nice if we had something by here, maybe some form of groove in the hood, up uh, on the hood, in the roof. But unfortunately, that is not an option. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Let me just a quick look at the carbon option. Nope, I'm going to stick with the primary color. Okay, then we'll move on to spoiler. There's a few different options for this one, so we can go with the low level or the high level. Uh, then we've got the carbon wing, which you'll notice removes this sort of panel by here. And I believe the other two to, uh, do too. Uh, the GT wing or the enhanced wing. Now, I'm not really too sure what the, the differences really are between the GT wing and the enhanced wing, apart from this little bit of shine on the edge. So that there it's like a sort of matte-ish color, and the enhanced wing has like a, a shiny finish. So... I'm not really too sure what the differences actually are. I don't see anything on the stats. They look fairly similar. So, to me, it's almost a waste of $2,000. But it's a spending spree. I got plenty of money. Let's go ahead and spend the extra money. Why not? Uh, someone said, yes, go back to Neon Kits. Thank you for reminding me. I'll go back to that in a few moments' time. Uh, see, I do forget very, very easily. So, let me go ahead and fit uh, all the standard stuff, like the race transmission, uh, turbo. Uh, as for the wheels... The ones that are fitted as standard, I'm not really a big fan of. You guys might be, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and fit a set of, I'm probably going to go for the uh, chromatic Z ones. 
and then I'm going to make those uh, black. We'll have a quick look at the different options available in regards to wheel color. So we got black. Scroll through these. White, red, maybe blue to match the color of the car. Let's have a quick look. Blue. Okay. <laughs> no is my answer on that one. Okay, we'll go with black for now. And then tires. We, of course, want to ensure they're bulletproof. And tire smoke will probably go with blue as well. Okay, and finally... We'll go for the uh, limo window tent, but we're going to go back to lights and of course do the neon kit before I forget. And we're probably going to go to... Oh, we'll go with electric blue. It's a little bit lighter than the colour of the car, but it should stand out at night. So there we go. That is it for the Vapid FMJ. Let's back out of the custom shop and take a look at it in the night. And uh, let's see what this one's like. So you guys said you preferred this one to the Reaper. To be fair, it is a very good looking car, not gonna lie. But um, it's one of those ones which you're either gonna love or hate the appearance. And like I said before, the front of the car for me just doesn't do it. But the back of, car, back of the car, missing words now, um, just looks amazing. So if I could combine the Reaper and this car, it would be just incredible, I think. But that's my opinion. Uh, so instead you just uh, remade the same card in the customization guide. I know, I know, I know, but um, that's because my customization guide was so on point that uh, I've done it again. <laughs> but, uh, no, I do love this car. Some things like the appearance, like I just said, but uh, it's pretty quick. I'm not too sure if this is even up there really with the faster cars, but it feels good and it handles extremely well. Just solid down to the ground. Very, very smooth. Oops. Stop beeping at me. Okay, we'll make our way back to the garage and move on to the next vehicle. Uh, so that was $1,750,000 plus, I'm going to guess, around about three to 400000 of customizations. So we're spending about $2.1 uh, $2 million or so on that vehicle. Let's move on to uh, what's next. I think we're going to do the uh, Bestia GTS next. And then we're going to move on to uh, either one of the SUVs, or the SUV, I should say. Or we'll, yeah, one of the SUVs, sorry, we got two different variants. Or we'll do the van next. So you let me know, guys, after we've done the best here, GTS, which one should I do next? Should I do the Benefactor XLS or should I do the uh, Rumpo Custom? So go ahead, leave a comment right now. And uh, if you guys could also leave a like on the live stream, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm not one of those people that go around every five minutes and, and ask for likes. Uh, I know every now and again when live streaming, I do make a joke about like spikes, but, uh, like I said, it's a joke. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated if we could try and hit a thousand likes. It's always my goal when we go for live streams and, and like goals and stuff. Okay, let's drive down to the custom shop. Uh, now, earlier I made this car red because it's a Ferrari. I might try and change the color up. Maybe go for yellow this time, but we'll take a look at the different options we got. What miracle did you want me to perform? What miracle do you want me to perform? Uh, well, there aren't really many customization options for this one either. There's a few more than the previous two cars, but nothing too insane. Uh, you guys right now want to see the uh, van next, the Rumpo, so we'll be doing that. Okay, so in bumpers we've got the uh, Euro bumper, which does look pretty good. Uh, is it the Serrano that's available in game? Is it Serrano or one of the, the sports cars that has a very similar uh, lower bumper and grille to this one? Uh, but then we've got the race bumper, which just puts this lip on the bottom, or the drift bumper, which I'm pretty sure doesn't really help it drift at all. Uh, moving on to engine upgrades, of course, we want to select the best one, and take a look at this if you haven't already. So we've got the stock exhaust, which is uh, like four exhaust, quad exhaust, or whatever. But you can fit oval exhausts, which just look so, so cool, I think. Um, not really, doesn't really match the style of the car at all, but uh, it does look pretty good to be fair, so... We're going to go ahead and purchase that. Then for hoods, you've got the option to fit a smooth hood, which I did earlier on my previous car. Uh, the twin vented hood, which also looks pretty good. And then you've got the uh, carbon vented hood, but I'm not really a big fan of carbon hoods. So this time, I'm going to go with the twin vented hood. Uh, horns. Uh, let's go ahead and put a musical one on this time. Ah, oh, sad trombone. There we go, that'll do. Lovely chap. Do you want to spend too much time on that one? Uh, xenon lights again, and we will of course put some neon kits on, but I won't put a color just yet, because I may change my mind on that. So again guys, remind me in the chat if I do forget to go back to that one. Uh, plates, I'm going to go yellow and black. 
Then we're going to move on to respray. Let's take a look at the different colors. Yeah, this is what I was talking about before. So this one right here, you can only change the prim uh, primary color. So you can't change uh, things such as the roof, uh, the side skirts, which we'll be coming on to in a few moments, the rear bumper, uh, all this down here, which is a bit disappointing. It would be nice to be able to do that, but that isn't an option. So let's go ahead and take a look at metallic. So black in this car, which with it being the sort of Ferrari sports car that it is, uh, I can't really say that it matches the uh, sort of style and the theme. It needs to stand out more in a nice bright color, like red, like orange, something along those lines. We'll scroll through them anyway. Doesn't look too bad in silver, to be fair. Like from the front, at least. I'm not really too sure about the back. Like this, this here does look good. The back, however, I'm not really a fan. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Got red. We should come on to hot pink. Look at that. I'm sure there's someone in the audience who would love to see this. Uh, we'll move on to orange. Orange isn't too bad, but again, with it being a Ferrari, I don't know whether orange is the right color to go with. We've got yellow. I was hoping yellow would be uh, fitting, but again, the front of the car in yellow looks brilliant, but you go around the back and it just doesn't look like it's the right color. Someone said try bright green, so we're onto the greens right now. Oh, we should be coming back to, there we go, bright green. Again, I don't know, like that. This here, this would be like perfect. If, if it was just that part of the car, but you come around the back. Imagine driving now, all you can see is the back of the car. It just doesn't look right. Uh, we should be coming up to lime green shortly, so let's take a look at that. Oh, again, the back of the car just ruins it. Oh my god. Okay, so we got uh, blue again. Let's come up to ultra blue and take a look at that one. Ultra blue. No, what one should I go with, guys? Someone said white. Try white. Okay, we'll go down to white right now. Take a look. Maybe white, yeah. Oh, ice white. There we go. Yes, ice white. Thank you for the suggestion. Loads and loads you guys saying you should go with white. So, ice white is the one. So, obviously, we got the white, we got the black. That's going to go perfect. We're going to set up black rims too. Uh, moving on to the next option. That, oh, yes, we need to do the neon kits. But I've already selected white. So, for now, I'll just leave those white uh, skirts. So we've got the uh, carbon skirts, we've got the street skirts, or we have the option to fit the sports skirts. But I'm going to go with the street skirts, because obviously you've got this black here, just giving it that second tone. Uh, moving on to spoiler, then you've got the option to fit a low level, which doesn't really make much of a difference in regards to its appearance. Or you've got the mid level, which is a black spoiler, again giving it that second tone, so I've selected that. Uh, then for suspension, we'll go ahead and lower it all the way down. Transmission, of course, race transmission, standard, and of course, turbo. Uh, then wheels. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the sports category this time, with it being a sports car. We'll scroll through uh, fairly quickly. Uh, not really seeing anything just yet. Hmm, maybe a set something like that. Uh, the uh, 59, okay, the synthetic Z, the organics. Not really feeling any of these. The S Racer, yes, I usually select the S Racer. So I'm going to go ahead and fit those, I think. S Racer, yes. Okay, we'll go with the S Racer ones and we will make those black like I said. And you can see the uh, red brake calipers behind them, that does look pretty good. We won't put a tire design on, but we will of course make them bottleproof and as for a tire smoke, we'll just leave it on white with the car of course being white. And then finally, window tints. I always go limo, so apologies if you don't like them. Uh, so as of the car itself is really ugly. Again, yes, I think from the back of the car it just ruins the overall appearance. But um, the front of the car I think looks great. But it definitely looks like the Serrano, from, which is also another supercar in game. I'm certain of it. Okay, let's back out of the custom shop and take a look. Drive around for a bit and see what you guys uh, think of it. So let's drive around for a little bit. The engine sounds from this do sound good. It's a shame you can't like tune the exhausts. That would be really awesome. Imagine being able to make your car louder or just more growly. It's an option which I think Rocks I need to look into for future updates. Maybe down at Benny's or something. Now I've lowered it down, it feels quicker, but not really uh, enhanced performance that much. Now for a sports car, it's not that quick. It may look quick in the live stream, you may have tried it in, you know, around the map and stuff, but what you'll find when on a track against the uh, Massacro, the Jester, 
And some of the other faster sports cars, uh, this one struggles to keep up, so it's not really up there. You might select it and it might sort of do well because uh, there are some aspects of it which are better, maybe the acceleration or the, uh, the handling. I'm not really you know, too sure as of yet uh, what is better and whatnot. I haven't tried it myself. I'm sure over the coming uh, days I will. But uh, it's not really um, up there, you know, for the money. You're spending 610,000, uh, which is more expensive than the Jester, I believe, and the uh, Massacre. But you're not really getting the same output in regards to speed. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. You guys wanted to see the uh, van, so let's go ahead and take a look at that one next. So um, I believe this one has next to no customization options for it whatsoever. Uh, of course, you can apply the standard stuff, you can respray it, you can change the wheels, but there's nothing unique. You can't change any of the panels on it, which is a bit disappointing. Of course, this van does have the side doors, so if you have people in the back, uh, they can open the side doors like you can on the moonbeam. They can hang out and shoot uh, LMGs and stuff like that. So that's one good thing about this van. But in regards to its customizations, it's a bit disappointing. But then again, it only costs 130,000. It's the cheapest vehicle from the update, the most affordable. And what the fuck is this guy doing? Like he just pulled out, no indication whatsoever. In real life, I would have like pulled him over and just knocked him out because, you know, it's being retarded. Okay, so let's go down to the custom shop straight away and uh, add some upgrades on this one. Uh, before, I believe, I set my van to matte black, and I might change that. Uh, any suggestions, guys, in colors? Someone just said matte black. Uh, if you have any suggestions for good colors on this van, go ahead and comment. I think due to the style of the car itself, it's supposed to be that sort of um, gang vehicle or one you take your organization around to different drug deals and stuff. I'm not really too sure other colors, you know, apart from black, are really going to be suitable. But uh, we'll certainly take a look. But uh, I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's tuned into the live stream right now. We've got almost 1,500 people. That's incredible. If you guys could leave a like on the live stream, it would be greatly appreciated. You don't have to, but it would be appreciated. And of course, uh, later this week, I will try and do some shark car giveaways for you guys. Like I said before, the fan messenger isn't working right now. But later this week, the platform should be back up so I can text out some of the shark cars that I have to give away to you guys. Uh, then we'll go to this option and fetch. Actually, no, we're going to go ahead and put a uh, sad trombone on this one as well. That was pretty good. Well, I was saying that I'm actually. Actually, I'm going to go to the standard and put a truck horn because of the style of the vehicle it is. Getting some color options coming in from you guys right now. Uh, huge array. Uh, try white, try matte black, try army green. We'll go through all of them. We'll see what uh, I'm feeling. I'm not going to put any neons in this one. We're going to go for black again. Onto the respray option, the most important part. So let's see what we can do with this one. So someone said chrome. Uh, no, I'm not doing chrome. Let's move on to the matte. So we can go with matte black, but uh, I did that before. I want to try and you know do something a little bit different. So let's scroll to the white uh, to the ice white one. That usually looks pretty good in matte. Uh, I'm probably not going to do this one. The sort of white and, and black theme on this one isn't too bad. So for now, I'm going to just go ahead and select that. But I'm going to try everything else just in case. So, ooh, a nice bright lime green. That would stand out, but people would see you coming from a mile away. So, I'm going to go to metallic and scroll through the different options. But down to black again, silver, which doesn't look too bad, like a, a nice graphite sort of color. Uh, you guys have tr said try red, try green. So, we're going to go through them all. Uh, here's red. Red and black doesn't look too bad, but. I feel for the type of van that it is, it's not really going to be suitable. Uh, let's keep scrolling on. Hot pink, yes, a hot pink van. Imagine now just turning up to different drug deals and stuff in a nice hot pink van. That would be ideal. But I'm not going to do it because uh, I'm going to just go through all the different options first. We've got orange, yellow, that's a bit too bright. So I said try lime green. Again, I think it's just too bright. We need something nice and dark, like... Well, I say dark, I've gone and selected ice white. But you know what I mean, like a nice uh, sort of standard and a boring color. One which isn't uh, bright and fancy. Got blue. I'm probably going to settle with the ice white, to be honest. We've gone on to the browns. So I'm not really feeling brown. And yes, I'm going to leave it on the matte ice white. You guys are probably going to hate me for it, but I'm going to go ahead and do exactly that. I'm uh, moving on to suspension with this being uh, lifted. I'm not going to change that. Transmission. 
Let's go ahead and put the race transmission on. Turbo, of course, we want that for the additional speed. Now, one thing about this vehicle that I don't like are the wheels. Not because they're the wrong style or anything like that, it's just the size of them. Look how big the van is. Look how small these wheels are. They're like piano wheels, they're just tiny. We need the option to increase that wheel size, but I don't think there's any wheels we can select that really do that. So they're all the same sort of size. We go to off-road, see if we can even increase them slightly. No, there's no change whatsoever. Actually, you might just see a slight increase, only a slight increase, like a percent maybe, but Let's go to different options. Actually, I quite like the Nevis, so I'm going to put those on. But they're still far too small for what this van really needs. So we need double the size wheels, Rockstar. Do that with your next update. Okay, and we'll go with black, of course. Uh, then tires. We want those to be bulletproof. We're not going to put customs on. And tire smoke we'll put, we'll put black because, you know, why not? And then finally, windows. We want that to be black. We want that to be limo so people cannot see in and it goes with the rest of the theme okay so let's back out and drive this around for a while someone said have you bought an office yet uh in this live stream no i have bought one on my xbox one to take a look and try things out but uh, later on when we've gone through all the vehicles i'll go ahead and buy some offices and sort of go through all of those and the new ceo system and stuff like that i think this uh, van has got the same engine which the standard rumpo has but do correct me if i'm wrong it's a bit faster though, so it might be a tuned version. I believe this vehicle is a 4x4, so I'm going to go and try this off-road before we go back to my garage and move on to the next vehicle. But um, you guys requested I do this vehicle uh, before the two SUVs, so I'll probably do those next and then move on to the NS Windsor for last. I haven't actually tried that vehicle out yet, so I don't think it's going to be much different to the uh, standard version of the NS Windsor, to be honest. Maybe a few customization differences. Okay, we're almost at the off-road section I want to try. Uh, so instead, try lowering it down. The wheels won't look so small. Uh, I think just down to the style of the vehicle itself, it's supposed to be high and, and sort of like an off-road style vehicle. So I think doing that would uh, ruin what Rockstar were trying to go for. But what you're saying is correct. If I lowered it down, I think uh, the wheels wouldn't look so small. Uh, we'll go over here for the off-road section. It's not really that intense, but... Which gives an idea of what it's like off-road. Doesn't seem to really lose much speed, which is surprising. It flies as well. It's super light. I imagine this thing rolls extremely easily because of uh, how tall it is and how little weight there is really in the vehicle. Oh, no. Oops. No, 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 no. Stay, 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 stay. We don't go all the way down there. See what it's like uphill. It certainly pulls for a van. It's not too bad. It's quite a unique van in a way. We don't really have anything like this in game, an off-road style van. But I'm sure if Rockstar add another sort of executives and other criminal styled update just like this one, we might have more things like this in the future. Oops, nope, my keyboard is uh, playing up again. I need to get a wired uh, keyboard because these battery operated, operated ones, there we go, uh, aren't very good. I seem to run out of battery all the time. So, it seems to happen with this one, if I just smash it against the, uh, the desk, somehow it increases its battery power, so it might just be a keyboard fault. Oops. Okay, back to my garage. Uh, someone said this vehicle is terrible off-road. It doesn't seem to be doing too bad. I imagine in extreme conditions it's not going to be that good. It's a van at the end of the day, but... With the, uh, the lighter stuff like this, it's not going to be too bad. So evading the police when you steal contraband, uh, this will be useful. But it's not too, uh, too slow either. I imagine it's pretty good at bumping and, and shunting things out of the way with that massive bump on the front. You know, if we come to a car now, I will try that and see what it's like in regards to doing that. Here we go, here's a car. Okay, no, it's useless. <laughs> I thought it would do exactly what the uh, Brocade does. And it would just push it out of the way with uh, no effort whatsoever put into it. But uh, I'm completely wrong. This car isn't, or this van I should say, isn't that good at it. Okay, back to the Eclipse Towers we go to swap over to the next vehicle. I'm probably going to do the armored variant first of the uh, Benefactor XLS. And then I'll do the standard variant. They're pretty much identical other than the fact that the uh, armored variant has armored plating. Customizations are pretty much the same. So, nothing unique or that special. Oops. 
Uh, but let me know what you guys think of the uh, finance and felony updates so far. Are you guys enjoying it? Have you guys uh, bought many things yet? Or are you completely broke and in need of money? I imagine there are many people right now in need of money. This update, if you want to buy everything, is around about 25 million. That's why it's a 25 million dollar spending spree. It might even be slightly more depending on which offices and uh, which warehouses you purchase. Okay, actually no, I said I was going to do the armored variant first. So let me just move over to that one. So, so far, we've spent... I have to try and guess now. I think it's around about... Must be coming up to about five, six million so far. Maybe slightly more. But for that um, van right there, we only spent around about... Ooh, maybe a quarter of a million dollars, maybe 300,000 on all the upgrades. As standard, like I said before, it's the cheapest vehicle in this update. So it's definitely the um, more, most affordable out of them all. Okay, let's take this down to the custom shop and see what we can do. Uh, now, in my customization guide of this vehicle, I went with an ice white paint job. I think this time I'm going to go with a matte black. But uh, we'll take a look at all the different options anyway and see what we've got. Uh, someone asked, how does the contraband system work? I will go through that very, very shortly, so uh, just hold on. Once I've done all the cars, I'll go ahead and buy an office and, and go from there. Race brakes, let's back out and go to engine. Like I said before, this car isn't really that customizable. I'm going to go with truck one on this one. Uh, we'll go with uh, Xenons, but we won't put any neon kits on this one. Of course, we want black. Like I said, I'm probably going to go with a matte black paint job on this one. Leave everything at this color. Uh, respray, yes, I'm going to leave it on matte black. Suspension, no, I'm going to leave it on the hired one. Uh, transmission, let's go ahead and fit that. Turbo, everything on this one is pretty much standard. Uh, wheels, I want to get rid of the, um, the custom wheels. I don't really like that white. It's messing up my black paint job, so let me go ahead and fit. What's he got on there at the moment? They're not off-road tires, are they? They're like SUV tires, so... Let's go to SUV. Wheels. No, it's not quite what we've got, but I'm going to fit a set of these anyway, so... Let's see what I can choose between... Uh, Obey RS. Might have to go with those. I'm feeling the OBS, uh, OBRS right now, so let's select those $6,000 and make those black, of course. Black, there we go. Uh, tires, we won't put a tire design, but they're already bulletproof. And then we'll make sure black is our tire smoke. Everything on this car is black. We can't even change the window tints because they've already been done on the armored variant. So uh, let's back out right now. A uh, little bit of uh, information about this car. The armored variant can take one explosive, so if someone was to throw a grenade or a sticky bomb at it, it will survive. I'll show you guys right now if I've got any on me. Hopefully I do. No, I don't. Uh, we'll just try the grenade launcher. That should do the job. There we go. So you can see here, it just survived the grenade launcher. It can take one explosion and a second one would blow it up. So if someone's shooting at you or trying to blow you up with something, like an RPG, you should be able to survive the first shot, but any more than that, and you will, of course, uh, take damage. Uh, the windows themselves are bullet resistant, not bulletproof, unlike the Karuma, of course. I think they can take around about maybe 30 to 50 bullets or so before they completely uh, shatter the glass and go through, but don't quote me on that one. Uh, someone said you should try this uh, vehicle in gold. Uh, we'll try the standard variant in gold, but like I said, the theme I was going for with this armored variant is the sort of matte black look. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we've got the uh, standard variant of the uh, Benefactor XLS. This vehicle, of course, the purchase is... $233,000, something along those lines. And it looks from the back a lot like the uh, BMW X6, I think. At least the brake lights do and the sort of uh, trunk uh, thingy-jig. The, drunk, the trunk lid, that's the one. Yes. But the front of the car, I believe, is mainly based upon some form of Mercedes uh, GLS, maybe, something along those lines. I have lost my wanted level. Good, good, good. Okay, now I go inside the custom shop. 
Uh, so instead, try doing the Reaper. I've already customized the Reaper. Just go back in the live stream, and you should be able to see that. When I go back into my garage, I'll show you guys all the vehicles I've customized so far. I think I've got one more after this one, that being the NS Windsor. And then I'll move on to the commercial properties. So let's take a look at this one. I might leave this in white, just like I've done. It doesn't look too bad. I'll quickly rush through these. Like the customizations are identical, like I said. Uh, apart from maybe a few extras, which the other car already had, like the window tints. Uh, engine upgrades, let's go ahead and make those the best. I'm not really a big fan of this uh, chrome grille, to be honest. I wish there was an option uh, to just change that to black, like we have on the armored variant. But that is not an option. It's a bit like the, um, the baller from the executives and other criminals updates. So uh, Let me go ahead and select a sad trombone, I think, on this one. I probably will be using this in races, so it doesn't really matter. And of course, when most people use their uh, horns, uh, plates, you know, I'm going to leave it on white this time. If the car's staying white, we'll leave it on white. So we'll leave it on the uh, blue on white. Uh, then we'll go with a. Actually, I'll leave it on the. Yeah, I'm going to leave it on the uh, ice white paint job. And unless. Can we change the secondary color? We can. Okay, what options do we have for this one? Uh, metallic. Frost white. What actually changes then? Oh, it's just that there and anything else? Okay, we're going to put that to black. Why not? Black. I think that's about it though. Is there anything else that actually changes? Anyone know what other features change? Color? Any idea? I don't see anything else. Maybe it's that... No, not even this rear um, bumper changes either. So it's just this one here. Okay. Uh, moving on to the next option, this being suspension, we're going to leave that at its highest. Transmission, race of course, save a turbo, let's put that on. Uh, wheels, I might go for a similar set that I did on the armoured variant, but let's have a look at high end first. Uh, chrome. Actually, no, 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 we're going to go, we're going to go to the uh, SUV ones. I'm going to go for the exact same I did on the other one, the OB. Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not really liking those on this one. Oh, I got a bit of my mind up. I know I'm taking way too long on just looking through all these high end. Just go with a nice obvious choice like the uh, the carbonic Z. There we go. That'll do. I won't waste your time. Uh, your guys' times. Oh fuck it. Yeah. Okay. And then black. Make sure it's all black. Everything's black. Best tires on the mark. And black tire smoke too. And finally, window tints limo, of course, with it being the style of vehicle that it is. So there we go. This one is, like I said before, pretty much identical to the armored variant. Uh, personally, I wouldn't bother buying this version. If you have the money to purchase the armored variant, just purchase that one because uh, it's not really going to be used in races. It's not particularly quick. Uh, but then again, I don't think many people play SUV races. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I don't really play them very often. And even if you are going to, then you might as well get the armored variant because... You can use that in free mode for the different VIP work and VIP challenge missions. Let's go back to my garage and take a look at all the vehicles I've done so far. I've got one left, like I said, the NS Windsor drop, the convertible variant of the NS Windsor. I don't think there are any customization differences. There's a notification in the bottom left-hand corner saying, Saving failed, unable to connect to Rockstar servers. Oh, there we go. Save successful. Uh, early before I started this live stream, for about two hours... Uh, the servers themselves were playing up. They were down, I think. It's because of how many players were trying to connect to the uh, the servers. Because obviously it's such an awesome update. People want to get back on GTA to try things out. So, so far I've customized the Pegasi Reaper. We've got the uh, Vapid FMJ. We've then got the uh, Grotti Bestia, I believe that's how you say it, GTS. Uh, then, we, of course, we've got the two... Uh, Benefactor, GTS's, here's my van, the, uh, I've forgotten the name of it already, the Rumpo Custom, and here is the final one I haven't customized yet that's in hot pink, this being the NS Windsor Drop. So hopefully we can change the hood to hard, like a hard roof. I think we can, I saw in the pictures when buying this car that was an option. Um, let me see if I can put the roof down. I think it's, is it X? No, it's not X. Uh, which option is it to put the roof down? The G maybe? No, H. Oh, there we go, H on the keyboard, so there we go. Let's keep driving. This car looks much better with its roof down, I'm not going to lie. 
I wonder if we can change that uh, wooden panel in the back that we can see. That might be an option. I got a feeling there won't be any customization options for this one either. If you guys were into, into your customization options, this update is not the one for you because there's literally nothing uh, you can do to many of these cars. Everything is very, very basic. Just spoilers and maybe a front bumper or two. Let's go down to the custom shop. Okay, so what color should I go for on this one? I believe there's a primary and secondary color option. So, uh, I want some suggestions from you guys. Hello to everybody who's watching the live stream right now. You guys are doing well and enjoying the update. $50,000 to fit the armor upgrade on this one. Uh, Bricks, we of course want the best ones. Those are $35,000. Plowing through the money right now. This car, by the way, is $900,000 to purchase. Um, whether I'd recommend it or not, I'm not really too sure yet. Probably not, to be honest. If you're low on money, then just focus on the other cars which you can use in the VIP mission. This is more of a, a luxury car if you've got plenty of money to just waste. Uh, can't really say it's got much of a purpose or much of an appearance to it at all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fit maybe a clan horn. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Might leave it uh, hot pink, to be honest. Someone say try gold. Okay, okay. We'll try gold. Let's go down to plates. By the looks of things, there's not really any customization options for it at all. Uh, respray, primary, oh, roof color, we can change the roof color. Okay, that's good. Uh, we'll go to primary. You guys are saying we should go for gold, so let's take a look at pure gold. Pure gold it is, let's go with that one then, and we'll do that for both the primary and secondary. Literally everybody right now is either saying gold or go black. So, we're gonna go with uh, gold all over. And then of course, can we do that for the roof too? I'm guessing no. We need to put the roof up. Can we do that in the custom shop? No, we can't. So I can't really uh, see what it's going to look like when the roof is up. Um, what's a good color to go with gold? We got a bit of silver here, so maybe if we go with a uh, like a rolled silver, maybe I can't see the hood anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We'll just select that one for now. Uh, suspension, we'll go all the way down. Why not? Race transmission, turbo. By the, yeah, there's, by the looks of things, there's, there's like no customization options at all for this. Uh, can we go for a set of gold rims on this too, or is that too much to ask? Uh, we'll probably have to go with a set of chromes by the looks of things. Uh, high end, or should I go for a set of tuners? No, we'll go with high end, okay. We'll go for a set of chromes. Let's go through all the different options. Doesn't look too bad. I'm thinking something nice and chunky. Maybe uh, the split tens. There's that, those, yeah, we'll leave it on split 10s for now, that'll do. Uh, then we will go down to tires, make sure they're bulletproof, $25,000. And can we get gold tire smoke? Probably not. No, brown is as close as we can go. We'll do brown for now. And of course, windows will do black. There we go. So that is it for the NS Windsor. Those are all the customizable vehicles uh, that we can purchase and put in our garage, all eight of them at least. Does sound good to be fair. Oh, let's have a look at that brown tire smoke. Okay, it's not even close to the uh, sort of bronzy gold I was hoping to go for, but that'll do. Okay, so next I did say I was going to purchase some of the commercial properties, but I just remembered we've still got uh, the brocade to purchase, and we've got some of the uh, dock tees and uh, elitist travel vehicles to purchase, so we'll do those next. I'll purchase those. Oops, and I'll drive uh, the FMJ to their locations to take a look at them. Now you guys love the FMJ, I certainly do. Uh, you guys are asking for shoutouts right now. Shoutouts take place at the end of the live stream, as always. Stay tuned. It's probably going to be about half an hour or so, maybe a little bit more, before uh, that takes place. Okay, so these are all the vehicles customized. I thought it was eight new vehicles, or have I only... I've only got seven. Oh, I missed something out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's supposed to be eight new vehicles. What have I missed out? Have I missed something out? Let's have a quick look on the Legendary Motorsports website, just in case. I swear there was supposed to be eight vehicles in total. Uh, let's go to the Legendary Motorsports. So we've got one, two, three... Four, five, two different variants, six. And then there's the vehicle then from here, seven. 
seven. Ooh, um, I actually have no idea. Maybe it's only seven vehicles then. I must be wrong. Okay, let's go to the Warsaw Cash and Carry purchase. The uh, Brigade, first of all, this is $1.1 million. So I think right now we're close to about $10 million by the time I purchase this. And uh, it does look awesome. It's not quite as big as I thought it was going to be, but it's still pretty big. I showed it off earlier today in a video. Ooh. Uh, purchase failed. Sorry, you may not purchase this vehicle at this time. Please try again later. It says right by here in the corner, saving failed and able to connect to the Rockstar servers. I think the servers are down again. So by the looks of things, I can't buy anything. Is that the case? Oh, no, don't do this to me, Rockstar. The servers are down. Is that the case? Let me try and buy something else. Let's try the cargo bulb. I can't purchase anything by the looks of things. That's not good. That's not good. If the servers are down, I can't do anything. That's the spending spree over. Let's try and reload it. Maybe go out with my garage or something. I don't want to try changing sessions just in case I get kicked out completely. Um, someone said try putting the roof up on your NS Windsor. It looks better with the roof up. Um, not really a big fan of that. Sorry, guys. Oh, please let me purchase something. This is going to be extremely awkward if I can't. No, purchase failed. Please try again later. Oh, the, the server's down. Can you guys connect to uh, GTA Online? Try on console and PC if you could. By the looks of things, there is an issue with the Rockstar servers. Let me try and leave my garage and... See if that'll solve the problem. Okay, it doesn't seem to have gone yet. And it'll connect to the Rockstar game servers. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let me try again. Please, 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 please. Let me buy the vehicle. Sorry, your purchase has failed. Okay. Um, by the looks of things, I'm not going to be able to buy anything. So I said try buying a property. Okay. Let's try buying a property. So, uh, there's a brand new website. We're going to go to um, the Dynasty 8 website through the Money and Services. You can, of course, go to the Sponsored Ad on the homepage. And the Dynasty 8 website has changed slightly, so you can choose the residential properties, or you can go to the commercial ones, the executive ones, uh, enter site. There's four to choose from. So, we've got the uh, Loan Bank West. We've got the uh, Maze Bank West, the cheapest, at $1 million. We've got the Arcadius Business Center at 2,250,000. Or finally, we've got the uh, Maze Bank Tower at $4 million. Now, the interiors themselves are identical to each other. So no matter which one you purchase, you get the same interior. But what you do get, of course, when you pay, uh, purchase this one is a better location, a uh, much higher up apartment, not apartment, sorry, office. So um, do bear that in mind. And when you do go ahead and purchase it, you do have the option to uh, take a look at the different customization options. So we can change the interior design. At the moment, it's on just this executive rich, but we can try the uh, the cool one. We've got the uh, contrast one, uh, the Old Spice Warm, which is sort of a brown and red theme. We've got the Old Spice Classic, which is a creamy white. Uh, then we've got the Old Spice Vintage. We've got a Power Broker Ice, which does look pretty sleek. We've got the uh, Conservative, and then finally the Polish. But I'm probably going to go with this one right here. Personnel, you've got Female or Male Assistant. I'm going to go ahead and select Female because, you know, it's always good to have a Female Assistant. Organization Name. Okay, what should I set this to? Uh, what should I go for? Can I, can I go for the... Um, try this. Cunt Corporation. Oh no, it's too long. Max of 15 characters. Uh, Cunt Corp. Can I select that? Checking your tax with profanity. Please wait. Although saying that, it's probably not going to be able to load. We can't connect to the Rockstar servers. So this might infinitely be loading. Please, 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 please. Usually you can spell on PC Cunt with two U's. And uh, it works for VIP organizations. Oh, forbidden text. It didn't work. Okay. Maybe not then. Oh, we'll just go with uh, Chaotic Limited for now. That'll do. So if that connected to the Rockstar servers that time, then it must be connecting, but just very, very slowly. So. There we go. Selected. Okay, let's go through the different fonts. Uh, they don't look too special, to be honest. Chaotic Limited. I might have to choose one of these. Isn't this supposed to be... Um, Aerial? Is that Aerial right there? No, Aerial 
in italics. Chaotic Limited, yes. Alright, I'm going to put this in all caps because uh, I think it'll look better. Chaotic Limited. Or will that not actually work? It might just put it into lowercase anyway. Uh, so as I do Pornhub Incorporated, I'd imagine that'll be uh, uh, not allowed. It'll be profanity, but I can certainly try. There we go, okay. Chaotic Limited, so we can then choose a different color. Probably going to leave it on black, to be honest. I imagine most people would. If we could change the background of the plaque as well, it wouldn't be too bad, but we can't. Uh, gun lock of that is $520,000, but what you can do is store vehicles in your office. Uh, did I, did I just say vehicles? I mean weapons. It's uh, getting late. Uh, you can like take uh, weapons off your person, and you can put them into your safe. So you can just not carry them around. So if you don't want to take your knives with you or maybe your shotguns, you could leave them in your safe and go back to them anytime. That would also work with ammo, I believe. Um, safe, you can get one of those as well. Uh, probably to store cash, something along those lines. It's $335,000. And accommodation, we'll select that as well. It's almost $800,000. So right now, I'm going to spend $6,650,000 on the Maze Bank Tower with all the customization options. It's not quite the most expensive uh, customization option. I think you can spend an extra $200,000 uh, in the uh, Decker section. But hopefully, this is going to let me buy it. Yes, I bought it. Okay, so I was able to buy that, but I couldn't buy any of the Pegasus uh, vehicles. That was strange. Um, okay, so I'm going to go there in a moment, but I want to very, very quickly see if I can purchase the vehicles. If I can't, then um, I'll just go to the offices and we'll have to miss those out, but I would like to. So, transport and travel. We'll go here. Okay, let's try and purchase the brocade. Is it going to work? No, it's not going to work. Okay, we'll try one of the other vehicles then. Let's see if we can do uh, something from the Elitish Travel. Okay, so we'll try and purchase the new Volatus for 2,300,000. Pending. Okay, that's not going to work. So we're going to have to wait for the Rockstar Services. Oh, this is a courtesy call. I'm your new assistant. Assistant's calling. Pleased to meet you. I'm here at the office. Okay, I don't listen to her. Okay. Uh, I'm going to drive down to the offices right now. Hopefully, please Rockstar if you're watching right now. You probably aren't. If you are watching, please fix your servers because I can't purchase any of the vehicles for some reason. The servers are faulty. I could try changing sessions, but I'm afraid that it's going to kick me out of the game altogether and I won't be able to load at all. And that'll just uh, ruin the live stream altogether. So, once I've done everything I can, I'll try that and hopefully that'll fix the issue. But if it doesn't, then... Well, I'll be disappointing. So we'll drive the FMJ all the way down. Actually, you know what I'm going to do on the way? We're going to stop off at the clothing store and look at the different outfits. And then we're going to go to the ammunition because you can now purchase uh, the drum mag for selected weapons. So we'll start off at the... Yeah, we'll go to the ammunition first. It's on this road, I believe. And then that should be on the way to the maze bank. Getting there. This car does sound nice, to be fair. I do like the uh, bright blue, or the electric blue, on the glows I fitted. There we go. It's a shame that these doors here were like scissor doors, instead of the um, just simple push out and push in doors. Let's go inside. So like I said, there aren't any new weapons as far as I'm aware of, but uh, you can get the uh, drum mag on selected weapons. So here is the drum mag right here. Obviously on some weapons it doesn't look that great, like this one for example, it just looks uh, like bulkier than the weapon itself, but let's go ahead and purchase it anyway. It's on the compact rifle, or the compact PDW, sorry. Uh, it's probably not available on this one. Oh it is, yes, you can get a drum mag for the machine pistol. Uh, let's go to the heavy sniper, it's not an option, probably not an option for the uh, homing launcher either. It's an option for the heavy shotgun. Let's go ahead and select that. I'm pretty sure it's unavailable for this one. No, it's not. Let's go to the shotgun right here. It's an option there. I actually purchased half of these weapons in this account. It's a brand new account, by the way, because uh, my one got banned a couple of days ago. Not going to be available on that. What about down here? No, that's not an option. Maybe this one here. Oh, that baby's good for there we go. Okay, we can push it, push it on this one too. 
Uh, this one's not an option. Oh, box magazine. Is that a new option? I'm not too sure. I don't think it is, so not to worry. Advanced rifle. Is there an option on there? No, it's not. Uh, that's not an option there. Or this shotgun either. Okay, so I'm guessing that's it for now. We've got all the weapons. Yes, for the looks of things. One more. Oh, a drone magazine. There we go. Okay. Let's go outside and take a look at what this looks like. I've not actually seen it yet, although I've purchased them for some of the weapons. I have not actually seen it in games. So let's go ahead and... Was it available on this one? It was. Okay. So it doesn't really look that impressive, but it increases your ammo from, I think, the AK is... Is it 50 or 70 bullets it usually holds? Maybe 80? It's 100 now, so it's a lot more. Uh, someone said stop smashing your keyboard. Sorry, I've just got a loud keyboard. Um, let's try and choose the machine pistol and see what it looks like on there. Where is the machine pistol? I do have the machine pistol, don't I? Oh, is it? oh it's in the submachine gun category. That'll be why. There we go. And there we go. So we've got 30 bullets in this as opposed to, I think it's 20 usually. So there we go. Let's move on to the clothing store. There's 250 new clothing items available, both for male and female characters, as far as I'm aware of. Uh, you've got choices between some of the previously available VIP exclusive outfits and there's some new Securo Serve stuff as well. I believe some of the Securo Serve uh, stuff serve stuff uh, was leaked with the executives and other criminals update. The hat was definitely leaked, I remember that one. Maybe a shirt as well. But we will very quickly go to outfits and go to the secure serve ones first. So you've got this as an option. Uh, we've got this one here, which is more of a sort of biker's outfit. Uh, you've got this one right here and this one. I think my favorite is definitely this one. I might leave this one on. Uh, finance, and felony, uh, finance and felony option. Uh, not really liking this one, but we'll go ahead and buy them anyway because, you know, it's a spending spree. Uh, this one here just looks like, well, it's called the Prime, but it's more like the Geek, if if they were to rename it. Uh, the high, This is like $50,000 for this. It's been an expensive jacket. It looks pretty good to be fair, this jacket. I'll have to buy one of these in real life. Uh, We've got some tracksuits. Then this is one of the... Um, exclusive VIP outfits from before, but you can now buy it at the clothing store, like I was just saying. Uh, just like some of these two. These are all the exclusive this ones by the looks of things. Oh, she keeps it. talking. Just shut the fuck up. I want to try and buy some of these and, and talk to the audience. Oh, she's talking. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but she's just saying unnecessary comments. It's a shooter if she's not careful. I'll leave this for not. Okay. Let's move on to the... Uh, tops, let's see what new ones we've got to choose from. Uh, I saw it by there. The Securo Serve ones. Oops, I've already got it on. So there isn't really much to choose from. A few different colours from before. No, we don't want to select that. Uh, we've got new ones in here. Nothing by the looks of things. Uh, oh, a special shirts, that's probably why. I don't think there's anything in there. Work shirts, nothing in there. Maybe it's in designer shirts. No, okay. Where will they be located? Oh, there we go. Here are some of them. So we've got a few different shirts to choose from. These are all pretty shit, to be honest. Uh, nothing to my liking. Work shirts. These are from the Lowriders Custom Classics. Hoodies. Oh, got some hoodies to look at. So I think it's only the one or two to look at. That one there too? Yes, okay. Just three, I think. The Liberty ones. Oh, yes. Were these leaked too? These were leaked um, a few weeks ago. Uh, sweaters, nothing in there. Work pants, sports, tank tops, probably nothing in there. No, 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 no. And the rest are not very special. So, uh, I will look through all the 250 items. I'm sure you guys get the idea. There's some new stuff. I imagine there's some new shoes, some new pants, some new shorts and stuff. But they don't really uh, get me too excited. And you guys can take a look at those anyway if you are interested. So, uh, let's go down to the... Uh, office now and see if we can do some stuff in there. So earlier I did do a video just sort of showing off the interior of the offices. Like I said before, they're all identical no matter which one you purchase in whatever location. Uh, whether you buy the $4 million Maze Bank one. Where is the Maze Bank? It's by here somewhere, isn't it? I've completely lost it. Oh, it's over there. Of course it is. Um, yes, yeah, so whether you buy the $4 million one or the $1 million Maze Bank West one, 
uh, you get the same interior. Obviously you can customize it up, but the layout is identical. All you're paying for really is the view and the uh, location. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So if you want to save yourself three million dollars, just go ahead and purchase the cheapest one. Of course you do need to have an office building if you want to become a CEO. And as soon as you buy an office, office you become I'm a CEO. Executive assistant. I'm here to make life as easy as possible and to help this business run efficiently. Now she just said she's trying to make life as easy and efficient as possible for the business, but I'm pretty sure she didn't really do anything. Not that I've already spent much time yet. She keeps talking. Hopefully uh, you guys aren't trying to listen. The safe's been fitted. It's so discreet, no one will know it's there unless you want them to. Here are your personal quarters, where you can personal up, quarters. take a quick nap, or change for a meeting. Most important of all, though, is your executive terminal. Here's where My executive terminal? Her voice is pretty hot, not gonna lie. Operation to another level. I'll Shame she didn't look it. About it when you first log in. So that's it. There we go. Around, get settled in. I'm at the front yes, you can finish talking now. You I want to go into my office and take a look around. Uh, now, one of the most impressive things about this office is the lobby area right next to the um, the entrance to the actual office itself. So look at this. We can't actually go through these doors, but uh, we've got four elevator options here, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in a moment. Uh, nothing inside here, but going inside anyway. Uh, she's talking again. Please be quiet. I don't want to hear you. So, uh, I can't remember the interior I chose. It was the million dollar one. Uh, but, as you can see in front of me right now is the Chaotic Limited uh, plaque. You guys can change that anytime you want by going onto the Dynasty 8 website and you can change your name of your organization. Uh, now, like I was saying, I don't think the assistant actually does anything. As far as I'm aware of, you can talk to her. And uh, the thing she can do is deliver a Pegasus vehicle to you. So, it'll be outside or on the roof. Um, you can actually have a personal vehicle delivered to you as well from one of your garages or you can have snacks from her too so if you are low on snacks you can go to her and she'll give you some free snacks and if someone's uh, ringing the buzzer you can get her to bring them in too um, okay so we'll start over here first of all actually really liking the uh, design they've got on the walls I've not seen this interior just yet uh, so over here is the bar if you want to take a drink if you want drinks to choose from uh, here, of course, is the important part. Oh, damn, the chair here is uh, really cheap in comparison to what I had in my uh, on my Xbox One. Uh, but basically, here is where everything takes place. I need to be in a public lobby to uh, go ahead and, and use this PC. I'll probably say it right now. If you want to use the PC, go into a public session. Uh, yeah, there we go. Join a public session if you want to access the SecuraServe network. And I'll talk all about that later if I do go into public session and it all loads up. You can see in the bottom left hand corner it says unable to connect to the Rockstar game servers. I've got a feeling they're down so I don't want to try and do that just yet in case I get kicked out of the game and cannot load it back up. The view from here is very good. Obviously it's night time right now so you can't really see anything. But as you saw in the trailer you can see all the planes and the helicopters fly past you so it's a very good view when you're working with your teammates. Uh, you can sit down by here if you want to, watch some TV whilst maybe you're chilling, waiting for some people. Inside here, uh, when you've got your team in, you can sit down at the desk and if I'm not mistaken, when the CEO uh, is sitting down, they bring out this uh, like revolver, uh, pistol revolver, you probably saw it in the trailer. I don't think it's a pistol you can even purchase in game, but it's one they bring out when talking. Let's see if my character will sit down right now. Will they bring out the revolver? Probably not. You probably have to wait for uh, all the other players to, uh, to be here. Okay, yeah, it's not happening, so... But it's a really cool map as well. You can see here, here, here are all the um, warehouse locations on this uh, terrain map, which uh, looks awesome. So, uh, yes, GG to Rockstar for making that. Uh, coming through to here then, don't think we can go through that door. No, we've got three laptops here, which are pretty useless because uh, you can go onto your phone and use the internet. So we've got some food over here. Oh, you can actually drink uh, the green juice. I believe you can sit down by here too if you wanted to. But of course we're not going to very very quickly I want to go over here and just show you guys the uh, the gun storage place so you can oh customize weapons at this location so like I said you can store weapons in here so you haven't got to carry them all around from my understanding you might be able to also uh, purchase ammo maybe or maybe store ammo 
Uh, hide all. Oh, okay, okay. Hide. Actually, I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure, yes, you can choose to hide or show... Oh, yeah, okay. So you can you can hide weapons in your weapon wheel. You can put them in here. That's basically how it works. So right now, I only had two switch blades, so I could only, only store those. Oh, I'm going to leave... Should I leave the door open? Should I try and close it? Is that an option? I need to... Oh, press escape. Oh, if I press escape, it brings the menu up. So uh, Rockstar may have to change that button. Uh, so that was the uh, gun locker. Gun locker. Gun locker. Let's move on to the uh, the money safe now. Now, like I said, we can store money in here. I'm not really too sure how that works. We'll take a look right now and see if that's an option. It's full of cash. I wish my safe looked like this in real life. Okay, so oh, you can't actually store money in it by the looks of things. It's just a uh, just like an interior design to make you look wealthy. That's a bit disappointing. Uh, someone said you can play an arcade game on the TV. Is that really a choice? Sit down. Where have I got to go? Oh, there we go. Okay, so if I press E to sit down, I can watch TV or I can play Don't Cross the Line. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. I did hear there was a uh, mini game in your office. I hadn't worked out how that was possible yet. So... Uh, let's wait for another player. Oh, okay. I've got to have another player in my office to do that with me. Oh, damn. I was hoping to show like to you guys just then, but by the looks of things, I can't. Oh, you can change your pose as you're sitting down. So, right now, it's just the fold arms and cross legs. So, we can change that to uh, this one here, where your, uh, well, your crotch is basically visible. Uh, then you've got this one here where you put one leg over the other. I'm sure you guys can take a look at all these yourself. Uh, let's move on to uh, just show you guys something also really cool too. So very, very quickly, take a look at the uh, the accommodation. Nothing too special. Can we go inside here? Oh, we can. So we've got, um, we've got a shower area here if you want to take a shower and clean the blood off your clothes and stuff. Uh, is this an open door? This is. This is a, uh, a sink. We can't actually use it. There's my reflection right there. The quality isn't very good because I've got reflections turned down. Just so the game runs slightly smoother. Uh, we can go into bed if we wanted to, take a nap. And we can sit down on the desk and actually do anything. What's this here? Drink some rum. And that's the door back into the CEO's office, yes. But if we want to, we can change our clothes at this section right by here. Change clothes at the wardrobe. Uh, but something I really do like about the offices is that we can go to this... Uh, elevated right by here, or any of the four ones, and you can exit via a vehicle. Obviously I haven't purchased any of the new ones yet because it won't let me do it, but basically what you can do if you purchase them is have one of these vehicles delivered to you instantly to the roof of your building. But uh, like I said, I haven't purchased any of these because for some reason it doesn't seem to like me. But as long as you bought it, uh, it will deliver to you instantly from Pegasus and it'll go straight to the roof of your building, not the nearest location like it usually would. Or, of course, you can exit to the ground on foot, just like we came in. Or you can go to the roof on foot. So we're going to do that right now. I haven't actually done that in this building just yet. I want to see if there's, like, a door um, you can use or walk through uh, to access the building itself. I don't think there is. It's probably just going to be, like, a, a circle. Yeah, a circle just like this one. Uh, Brucey's calling. I don't want to speak to you right now, buddy. Oh, you just walk straight through the door. Okay. That's basically how that works. I wasn't too sure if you could only go in via the uh, the ground floor if you're on foot. I wasn't entirely sure, but there we go. That has uh, solved the problem. Uh, saving failed still hasn't gone away, so for some reason I'm not going to be able to purchase any vehicles. I'm going to try one more time, see if I can purchase one of the vehicles from the Warsaw Cash and Carry website. Otherwise, I'll have to swap across to a public session, maybe even re reload the game. Okay, it's not working. That is so annoying. Okay, well, I'll have to go to a public session anyway. Remember, I'll do uh, stop talking, please, assistant. Thank you. I have to go to a public session anyway so I can uh, purchase a warehouse and access the Securo Serve network on the PC. So let me go ahead and swap across to a public session, and I will then start talking about all of that when we are there. So find a new session. Please, please, please don't kick me out of the game and tell me that the Rockstar servers are not available. I will be so, so annoyed. Uh, someone said the Rockstar, uh, sorry, the 
Xbox One Rockstar servers are down. Uh, like I just said, I think they're down on PC too because of how many people are trying to connect right now. It still says the saving failed, so by the looks of things, I might have to try reloading the game. Is there anyone in my... Oh, there's someone in my session. So, I should be able to at least purchase the warehouse. If not, i uh, purchase vehicles. So, let me try that again. It's going to Warsaw Cash and Carry. Please, please, please let me... Okay, so for some reason, even though I'm in a public session, I'm collect uh, not collected, connected to the Rockstar servers, it won't let me buy this. I'm not really too sure why uh, at this time. Is there a reason for this? Can you guys uh, tell me why? Uh, someone else said that the cars are offline for them too, but they're able to do everything else. So maybe it's just a bug in game. Okay, well, we, we could always try restarting the game, of course. But uh, we'll go ahead and sit down at my PC and we'll purchase a warehouse and go over all of those first. Uh, if you guys could leave a like on the live stream, it would be greatly appreciated. We're only 50 likes or so away from 1,000 likes, so if we could hit that, that would be awesome. So uh, just go ahead and leave a like if you haven't already. Okay, so let's access my desktop PC. I am, of course, the CEO okay, of my I'll own company. Brilliant, I have logged in. Account. Okay, so let's just take a look around the entire map. By the looks of things, all the warehouses are in the city location. You can't choose anything up here, which is a little bit disappointing. I thought there would be more stuff around the map. The assistant is talking. I've got my headphones on and it's really loud and she's extremely annoying, so hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Uh, so let's go through all the different warehouse locations. We can purchase up to five. I'm not too sure if there's a limitation on the sizes and stuff like that, but we'll take a look now. There's one up by here, which is just under a million dollars. I know the one which it is. We've got this one by here, which isn't too far away from the Eclipse Towers, if I'm not mistaken. That's uh, two million. Uh, we've got this one here, which is 400,000. That's the cheapest so far that I've seen, and that is extremely close to the Eclipse Towers, but you can only get 16 crates in this one, whereas this one here has 111. Uh, it's a lot closer to the Eclipse Towers uh, too, in regards to the ones down here, which have big sizes too. Without being close, it's more convenient, so that might be the one to go with. Uh, there's this one here then, 42 crates, almost a million down by the uh, beach. Uh, this one here, which is 360,000. This one here, which is almost a million, 42 crates in that one. It's a million for 42 crates. I believe there's three different sizes, small, medium, and large, so we can go through the different ones. I'm going to buy, I'll try and buy five lar large ones if that's possible, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, 318,000, was that less? Oh yeah, so this is the cheapest right here for 318,000, there's only 16 crates, whereas this one here is 16 too, and that's probably more convenient in my opinion, so that might be the better one to go with if you're going to buy a small one. Uh, this one here is 2.6 million. There's this one here at uh, 880,000. That's too far, I think. That's, you know, if most of your garages are over here, like mine, then having this all, all the way on the other side of the city will take you a lot of time. It'll waste a lot of time and stuff like that. Uh, this here, which is 3.2 million, the most expensive one so far. And it's got uh, the same number again, 111 crates. I don't know why Roxo made such a random number, why it wasn't just a nice round one. Uh, there's this one down here in the docks for 392. This one down here, 16 crates. That's almost a million too. Okay, what I might do is, is purchase one like in every corner of the city. So I'm going to buy this one right by here for almost 3 million. Confirm. Please let me buy it. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's see if I can buy. Is it this one up here, which was. 111 crates too, yes. I'm going to buy that one too, because that's right next to uh, the offices. Oh, sorry, not the offices, the apartment buildings. Now, we should be able to buy up to five, but there, there was only two slots. So, it might be limited based upon uh, the number of crates or the size in which you're buying. So, if you, you'd be able to buy either five small ones or maybe two large ones. I think that's how it works, but I'm going to try it right now. Uh, can I buy this one? Confirm. Oh, you can, okay. So I might as well just buy one in every corner then, if that's the case. I was wrong, you can get five in total. What one should I buy in the next? It's also got uh, 111 spaces. That one there, okay. Buy that one. Also, I don't know if there's any left which have uh, 111 spaces or crates, spaces. 16, 100, there we go. 
They're all sort of down here, so uh, we'll buy that one too. Okay, so that's five. That's all five of them. That right there, I've just spent almost 10-ish million on just those warehouses alone. So I spent roughly 10 million on the uh, the cars, 10 million on the uh, warehouses, uh, 6 million on the office which I'm in right now. So I've already gone over 25 million dollars. So it's around about 26-ish at a guess. Maybe slightly less, maybe slightly more. But uh, that's what I've spent so far. Anyway, so once you have bought these warehouses, uh, you can then purchase crates. Uh, so you can see here we can buy one crate of jewelry for 2,000, two crates, yeah, and so on. Uh, I think depending on which warehouse it is, is that the case? We can purchase different, different stuff. It doesn't seem to be the case, because earlier I purchased some medical supplies. Maybe it changes. Uh, but as you can see, uh, basically when you're on your PC, we just uh, uh, go back to this. When you're on your PC, you can choose one of the uh, buildings around the map and you can sort of see how full it is. So at the moment, they've got nothing in, so it's 0%. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, just buy buy one crate. Okay, we're on. uh, so I can go ahead and pick those up and take them down to my uh, warehouse. So let's exit the office. So I might as well go ahead and pick those up, take them down to the warehouse and uh, take a look at that at the same time. Again, I think all the warehouses are pretty much the same. Um, is my personal car outside? I, yes, it is, it is, it is. So there's no point in, in having my uh, assistant call another. So let's go down to on the ground via foot. I uh, can't remember what I was going to say then, but yeah, I think all the, the warehouses are pretty much the same in regards to their interior, just some are bigger, some are smaller. Uh, so there's not really much point in buying them all and taking a look. Uh, where is my... Just ping the collect oh, no, I don't want to listen to you. Okay, where is my personal car? It doesn't seem to be here. Okay, so... What I'll do is... See if I can have it delivered to me. Okay, it's not even out, so... By the looks of things, I'm going to need to uh, call up my mechanic. Can I... No, I can't climb up there whilst I am on the phone, so... Please don't die if I jump. Please, 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 please. Good. Wow, the guy said over there. Okay, uh, let's go to my mechanic. It still says that we're able to connect to the Rockstar servers. Is there anyone in this session? I think the only guy that was here what just backed out. Some wheels? I yes, I need around. some wheels. Let's go ahead and use... I also got the armored variant, just in I'll case someone is in this session and tries to kill me. Oh, there isn't anyone, so... It doesn't really matter if I use that or not. Okay, any second now it should be delivered to me. Are there any new uh, VIP options? I don't think I can become a VIP just yet. Oh, there we go. Secure a serve CEO. So this should be an option to anyone who is an office owner. Let's see what options we've got right now. Nothing really in there. VIP work. Oh, CEO abilities. So I've got all that sort of stuff. CEO vehicles. Uh, doesn't seem to be any different. We've got the uh, XLS. Yes. Oh, wait. Brickade. I haven't purchased the Brickade, uh, but I can call it in. So, if I can't buy it, then I'll have to just show you guys the Brickade uh, by doing that in a few moments. So, so first we'll go and collect the jewellery. Let's get into my car. I wonder where the jewellery is going to be located. Okay, it seems to be down in the docks area. Let's very quickly drive down there. But, uh, whilst I'm driving down there, I want to get your thoughts and feelings on the update so far. Uh, I've gone over all the new cars. You guys seem to enjoy or love the Vapid FMJ the most. Um, but what do you guys think about the new CEO and VIP system? What do you guys think about it? And does it actually pay out much money? I haven't tried it yet myself. Uh, supposedly the payouts are very, very big. But of course you do have to invest a lot of money. But the more you invest, the more of a risk it is, of course. Because uh, other people in the session can uh, get involved and try and stop you. Uh, the cops, of course, can sometimes get involved. So let's very, very quickly drive down there. We'll just follow the green line. Please don't pull out. Thank you very much. Almost there right now. We're only getting one crate, so there's not much of a risk in this one. I only paid $2,000, so I doubt the return on it is going to be much. But hopefully I can give you guys an idea of exactly how it works, just in case there are people out there uh, that don't really have enough money to purchase an office and a uh, warehouse. Uh, Some of the payouts aren't really that good. So we'll soon find out now how it works. 
I imagine it would depend as well. Oh, oops. It would also depend upon uh, what stuff you're buying. I I'm buying jewelry right now. I'm not really too sure what the income is on that. It might be medical supplies or ammo that pays out more, but we may have to work our way through the ranks to get that sort of stuff. So, Let's very quickly drive over there. I've not done this before, so hopefully I'm not going to get attacked by anyone. Oh, it's the police. That's uh, unexpected. Why am I supposed to follow this? Uh, uh, collect the jewelry. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to kill the police. Oh, that is the case. Okay. Wait, was that the passenger? Or was that? That was the passenger. Oops. There we go. Okay, so how do I collect the uh, jewelry? Do I have to go into the back of the truck? Oh, no. I just take the truck with me. Okay, so. I didn't realize that's how it worked. So basically, what I have to do now is take this back to uh, my warehouse. Which one are we going to? I'm going to the furthest one away. Yep, the furthest one away. That's just typical. I should have selected a closer warehouse rather than doing such a far away warehouse. Silly mistake by me. Uh, someone said they they can pay out a lot. That 2,000 one supposedly pays out 10,000, uh, but it does depend on whether the cops uh, shoot you or not. I'd imagine. Uh, global signal. What's about to happen now? Uh, the tracker is pinged. Oh, okay, okay, so... Uh, shipment is now visible to all players. Oh, okay, so... Now that I've stolen this, if there are other players in the session, which at the moment there aren't, uh, they'd all know where I am, they'd see me exactly where I am, and they could come and, and steal the cash for themselves, maybe get a profit or additional profit, uh, something along those lines. But, uh, luckily... Nobody else is in the game, so we shouldn't have any issues. So it's going to be a nice and easy drive. We haven't got any police on us either. So let's drive up there. It's only a one-star wanted level. Maybe the more valuable the uh, the load is, maybe the more stars you get. This one being the cheapest. Maybe uh, the next level up was two stars. The next level up above that, maybe three stars. I could try that later on if I get the opportunity. But by the looks of things... Uh, it's just going to struggle to connect to the uh, the Rockstar servers, so I can't buy any more vehicles. But I can use the CEO abilities to spawn them in and just try things out. So that's what I'll most likely have to do. So we're almost down in the warehouse right now. It's a shame we can't just unload the van. Like if we had our own van to use, we could just take the stuff out and... Uh, and put it in our own car, but by the looks of things, that's not the case. Again, I've only done this, uh, this is my first time, so I'm not really too sure on that one. Okay, we're getting very close. Where are we right now? Let's bring the Big Mac up. Uh, Mac? Big Mac up. Okay, we're getting there. A couple of blocks away. Oops, no. Leave it like that. Take your jewelry to the warehouse. No, 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 no. Don't smash into me. Not this one, it's the next one. Oh, this warehouse right by here, okay. Go up here. Is it this entrance? No, it's that entrance by there, okay. I thought it was going to be. Come on, police van, almost there. And we have arrived, okay. Special car got delivered, hooray! And we should now be going into the warehouse for the first time, so uh, you guys can take a good look at this. There's no cargo, of course, inside at the moment, so nothing to really see. Uh, we've got the uh, ad hoc laptop right by here, where I'd imagine we can use to buy and sell some additional stuff. The laptop is not connected to a secure network, meaning your special cargo will be sold by there. Okay. Uh, there's also a workbench, so we can use this to upgrade some of our vehicles. So if we had uh, the brocade, we can add bulletproof tires and armored plating to it. Well but I haven't got that at the moment, so unfortunately I can't. Uh, same for the plane and the tugboat. So uh, we'll certainly do that once I have uh, purchased them. Uh, so by here, is this the stuff I've just brought in? What looks things it is? It doesn't really look like jewelry on the left hand side. What even is that? Oh, it's like um, bracelets and stuff. We've got watches and some necklaces. Some of the stuff available in the clothing store. Okay, so let's go over here then and see if we can 
uh, sell them straight away and find out exactly what they sell for. So access laptop. Bearing in mind this is the cheapest package. Sell for ten thousand dollars. That's actually really really good. Uh, confirm. So we made eight thousand dollars on that, which doesn't seem like a lot. You ready um, to make this sale? Our oh right, okay. I actually have to go and deliver it now. Okay, so let me go ahead and you know what? We're gonna do it right now. Let me go ahead and call in the uh, effectively an armored tank, which isn't armored yet, but we can do uh, once I buy it. So the XLS. Oh, wrong vehicle. Damn, I was gonna get the other one. Never mind. I'll do that in a few moments' time. The brigade. Okay, so I've got half an hour to go to the Los Santos airport and enter the plane. This does sound very, very easy. Damn, I thought it was going to be really easy where we just go back to our warehouse, press sell, and the buyer just comes to us, but obviously not. We have to go down to the airport. So I'm just going from one side of the map to the other, to the, uh, back down to the other. Uh, someone asked, um, are the servers down? By the looks of things, uh, oh, wait, yes, the notification has just gone away. So I might be able to purchase the vehicles at long last, so... Once we've done this, I will try to buy them. Hopefully they're back up now. Yes, stay successful. You guys don't find me right now. Good. We can finally, finally, guys, uh, buy some of the vehicles I haven't bought already. We're getting close to the airport. Deliver these uh, jewels off. Hopefully I haven't got to have picked them up or something. Uh, someone said it's best to purchase uh, three crates at the same time. Uh, you can get up to 200k if you've got four players. Is that, is that correct? That sound pretty good. But, uh, basically, what I was doing with this is just testing it. I've not done this before. I want to get an idea of what I was doing. I didn't want to invest like huge amounts of money only to find that I lost it all straight away. Not that it really matters. I've got something like 500 million, but waste not, want not. Okay, so we are almost there. Do I have to go into the airports? By the looks of things, I do. Are they going to let me in, or have I got to break in? Hopefully, the gate is going to open for me. Please, 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 please. Oh, shit, we've got a 1,000 likes. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, helping me get to the 1,000 like goal. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, yes, it's going to open. Brilliant. Okay, we are here. Where's the plane? Okay, the plane looks as if it's near the hangar. Not in the hangar directly, just nearby. And it's going to be... Oh, this dodgy thing right by here. I can't remember what it was called. What a nice big plane. We've uh, we've got a brand new one. The, is it the, the Nubis? Is that what it's called? Why can't we use that? Okay, where have I got to go to now? It's available. Okay, so we can also put um, the missile lock on. So, if people have got the homing launcher, then... Let me just check where we got to fly to. All the way up here. Oh my god, they certainly make you worth your money. But uh, it's only one crate, remember. So if I got more crates, I could have made a lot more money and made it worth doing. But it's easy for me because right now, although I'm in a public session, uh, no one's connecting. So I can do it without having to worry about people trying to take me down, trying to steal my cargo. If you're wondering how I managed to do this, it's because the game seems to be glitching right now. So no one has connected. But what would happen right now is I'd be on everyone's mini-map saying that I've got uh, some crates come and kill me and you get some extra money. Uh, so, yes. Uh, someone said you can use the Titan. Is that like an option to... Uh, can I change that over time, maybe? Or is it because I haven't purchased it yet? Is that the option? The reason why? Uh, someone said, yes, definitely buy more crates so you can make a lot more money in one go. Alright, okay. I probably won't do that in this live stream, but once I sort of understand what we're doing, I'll try and find, I'll try and work out the best way to profit from this and go about how to make the most money in the, little, uh, the least amount of time. And maybe over the next few days, I'll try and do a live stream on the best way to make money. So you guys can uh, make money with this and uh, buy some of the new vehicles if you haven't quite got enough. So we're going the wrong direction right now. Okay, we're almost going there. But uh, how are you guys today? I've not actually asked you that yet. Have you guys uh, stayed home from school? Have you stayed home from work just to play this update? Or have you been 
good boys and girls and, and gone to school. <laughs> Has someone asked, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, I don't. I do have a, a girlfriend, however, because uh, I am a straight male. Okay, so we are getting close. We are getting close. Just over halfway, I'd imagine. Uh, do I have to land, or can I just uh, skydive out? I'm guessing I have to land, so I'm going to just take it easy, just in case. I bet if I crash the plane, I'll lose all the cargo, too. Or is it just going to drop out? Please say it drops out. Please, 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 please. Oh, it says land the plane. Okay. Oh, there's people shooting at me. This is not good. So this is going to be extremely difficult now because I somehow have to land the plane and there's people shooting at me. Why would they be shooting at me if I'm delivering it to them? Oh. No. Or is it the police? No. No. I died. I think that's um, going to result in a penalty. Okay, I'm going to take out uh, 10 enemies. So I'm going to use my 100 mag uh, drum mag now for this. I don't have aim lock on, so unfortunately, my shooting is going to be terrible. And of course, I'm using the, uh, the AK, which is even worse at shooting. Probably use a sniper on this one, they're quite far away. Six people down. Make that seven. Three more people, there's one person behind me, so where are you hiding? Where are you? Come out, come out. Wherever you are, there you go. Uh, one more person. There you go. Done! Delivered! Okay, so I didn't lose any money, I made. Uh, $8,000 in total on that, because of course there was a $2,000 charge, uh, which isn't too bad, because it was only one package. Of course, if there were more packages, I had more people to help me out, uh, that would be much more worth doing. My assistant's calling. We made a sale, boss. That means we're in business. Yes. Remember, if we want to make some serious trade... Yeah, brilliant. Fantastic. Oh no, saving failed. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. So I was just going to go ahead and purchase some of the new vehicles. Uh, which I haven't bought already, and it's now just said saving failed. I should have bought them when I had the uh, the opportunity. Hopefully, oh, it's gone there, it's gone, so I might be able to buy it. Please, fingers crossed, can I buy the brocade for 1,110,000? Oh, it's failed again. So I can't buy it. For some reason, I can't purchase any of these vehicles. Maybe I have to restart the game or something to make that work. But for some reason, it's not letting me, so... What I'm going to do is go into story mode. Hopefully, uh, oh, I can't be able to quit. Okay. Oh, so if I do that, the Rockstar cloud servers are currently unavailable. I'm not going to be able to reconnect to online because it's. Oh, it's just gone down again. Oh my God, Rockstar, solve your servers. This is the. Uh, this is the third time we've seen this now. Not just necessarily today, but we saw this with a heist update a year ago because of how popular it was servers weren't working properly and we're seeing it again now with this update because of how big this update is and how much hype it's received but for some reason I can't even buy vehicles I'm in the game I'm still online it just means that I can't physically purchase the things that I want do I take the risk do I take the risk and go into story mode and try and come back online or do I just you know what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna take the risk because I know how it's gonna happen uh, someone said try the tug. It's probably going to be the same for that. Um, I did try buying the uh, planes from the Elitist Travel, and it didn't let me buy that, so I'd imagine the tugboat will be the same. We'll try and buy it. Oh yeah, this is here as well. There's supposed to be a description by here, but Rockstar haven't put a description in. It's just placeholder, so that'll probably be updated soon. Buying now. No, that's not bought either, so... Oh, Rockstar, god damn it. Fix your servers. Uh, but what I can do is go to the VIP, uh, sorry, the CEO vehicles, and I'm going to have the brocade delivered to me. So, I haven't bought this yet, you just saw, because the Rockstar servers aren't working, but I can use the CEO one and have it delivered to me. And this appears to be black. The one I had earlier was silver. I didn't realize that it came in different colors. 
Uh, it does. So let's have a quick look around the vehicle first. I love this vehicle. It looked awesome in the trailer, and this vehicle in the game is insane. Basically, when you drive into any vehicle on the road, it just shunts it out of the way without losing much speed at all. So it is uh, very, very cool. And I do like it in black. The one I had earlier in the video was silver. Can't say I was a huge fan of the color. I was hoping it would be customizable. We can, of course, customize this at our warehouse uh, if I bought it. We'd be able to fit armor to it and bulletproof tires, because these right now are not bulletproof. And they aren't armored, so if I threw a grenade at it right now, it would blow up. But once it's armored, it'll probably take some explosive uh, damage and some shots too. I think uh, there's probably bulletproof or bullet-resistant glass fitted too, but I'm not 100%. So let's uh, drive around in this. Let's shun some cars out of the way. See if we can have some more CEO uh, vehicles delivered to us, maybe one of the planes or something. And I will then try and go to story mode and then go back to online. Oh, oops, I'm not doing, looking what I'm doing. I will try to, uh, yes, go to story mode, reload online, and hopefully I can purchase the vehicles. But for some reason, Rockstar's not allowing it. Uh, this vehicle, by the way, is really good off-road. Off Obviously, it's not the best because it's a massive truck. But this thing just seems to just want to go, and it bounces about incredibly well. Look at this right now. Look at the the vehicle do that. It just flies. This thing's incredible. It's a 6x6 six six, uh, truck, and it weighs 10 tons, supposedly, but it's awesome. And when you drive into pretty much any car on the road, like this one, it just pushes it out of the way without losing any speed whatsoever. Or very little speed, I should say. But the only real downside to this is its turning circle. You can see right now I'm trying to go around this corner. Usually any vehicle would go around there no problem, but... Because it's a truck, it's not very good. So uh, let's just smash some more vehicles out of the way like this one. Yeah, just push it out of the way. We probably lost maybe two or three mile an hour right there. Same again by here. Look at that. Lost a little bit of speed, but not too much. Let's do it in first person, why not? Smash this one out of the way. Doesn't look any different whatsoever. It's such an awesome truck. Definitely, I'm not going to say my favorite vehicle in the game, because I like the... Um, the Reaper, I do like the FMJ, but this is awesome too, so definitely my favorite Pegasus vehicle in the game right now, overall, but favorite vehicle from the update, I'm going to probably go with the FMJ, I think the just the appearance from the back of the car just does it for me, uh, but what do you guys think about the, um, the Brigade, do you guys like it, is it one of your favorite vehicles in the game, or is there another Pegasus vehicle or another vehicle from the update you guys prefer? This car's also surprise. Oh, oh, car. This truck, I should say, is surprisingly fast as well. Uh, just look at this thing plod along now. Obviously, it's not uh, supersonic speeds, but for a truck that's massive, uh, it is uh, certainly doing well. Oops, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing again. I'm reading the chat. See you guys right now are just uh, telling me different things. Try going to story mode. Uh, maybe try going to a console because right now I'm playing on PC. Uh, but I think the servers are down across all platforms, and the social club is also playing up. Uh, so and so the PC servers are back up and running, just try reloading the game. Um, hopefully, hopefully if that's the case, the game should fix itself. I may try changing sessions in a moment, once I have gone back to uh, the city. But I will also see if I can call in another CEO vehicle too. This thing just bounces about so well. Look at this thing right now. Let me do it again. This thing just gets some air. Okay, it's not going to do it. I'm just going to flip over instead. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Someone's asking about um, shark card giveaways. As I'm sure you guys know, uh, not yesterday, but over the weekend, I was giving out shark cards both on the Fan Messenger app and Twitter. I will be giving out some more shark cards probably later this week, but uh, don't take my word for that. It all depends whether the fan messenger is back up. If you guys want to sign up to the fan messenger, link is in the description. Basically what you can do is enter your name and phone number. Of course I don't have access to that. I will be giving out or selling your details to anyone. But it just allows me to send you an automated text message. Uh, I can send you things such as um, shark cards. I can send you uh, announcements, uh, exclusive video and, and sort of live stream stuff. It's uh, just really, really cool and it's something which I'm, I'm actually being paid to promote. I'm paying to use, uh, but it's something which my network, my YouTube one, built, and I think it's so cool, I've been wanting to use it a lot more, so if you guys want to, you can sign up to it and receive a lot more for doing so, but you don't have to if you don't want to. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, blow this up right now. Actually, no, 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 I'm not going to. Let me see if I can... Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I gotta make up my mind. I'm gonna blow this up and then see if I can get a plane, one of the new ones to spawn in uh, through the CEO options. So, just blow that up. There you go. See, not, uh, not bulletproof or bombproof, I should say, uh, until you put the armored plating stuff from your warehouse. So, oh, it appears as if I have now got a wanted level. Let me see if I can call in one straight away. VIP vehicles. I've got to wait almost two minutes. Okay, there's the option to call in a Volatus. And that appears to be it. Okay, the Volatus isn't too special. So, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to go into try a new session first of all. And hopefully, I will reconnect to uh, the servers so I can go ahead and buy the vehicles. If I can't, Unfortunately, that's going to be it for the live stream, and I will just do some shout-outs. Uh, but if I do, I can purchase them, try them out, and go from there. Uh, right now, we've still got 1,200 people watching. Hello to everybody. Thank you for watching. It is getting late. For me, it is 20 past 11, so I've been streaming for almost two hours. Damn. Still loading. i got a feeling it's not going to... Oh, yeah, it did. It did. It connects to an online session. So it still says that saving failed, even though there are people in my session. Uh, okay, so is there anyone... Is there anyone right now that is able to uh, purchase any vehicles on any platform? Uh, maybe it's a, a general thing. I might have to go ahead and just check Twitter and the support forums and see if anyone else is having the issue. But for some reason, it's still... Not let me buy the vehicles. Why not, Rockstar? Let me do it. I want them. I, I know I've spent just over 30 million. Is it just over 30 million? No, I think it was about 26 million I said I spent. I think. But for some reason, no, I still cannot purchase those vehicles. Okay. I'm going to try going to story mode then. I'm going to try going to story mode. And I'm going to lose my progress. And then I'm going to try and connect to online. I bet it's not going to work for me. It's going to lag out and I'm not going to be able to reconnect. Uh, some people are saying they can connect. Some people are saying they can't connect. Uh, some people are saying they can purchase vehicles. Other people are saying they can't. We're getting a huge mix of uh, responses right now. Uh, some people are saying they can't even afford them. So uh, this is really, really annoying. Okay, let's go to an invite only session first. Please, 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 Rockstar, don't do this to me. Let me connect. Let me buy the vehicle so I can do it. Okay, so we are joining a session. Okay, okay. It's loading. Yes, I'm loading in. Okay. Hopefully right now I'm going to buy it straight away. I'm back in Sandy Shores again. It's because um, the save hadn't saved. Okay. Uh, your CEO contract expired. No, uh, I need to renew it. Uh, I've just done it. Okay. Very, very quickly, let's go on to the Warstock Cash and Carry and buy these before rocks out of side. They don't like me. Yes, I purchased it. There we go. I have bought the brocade for 1,110,000. Before Rockstar changed their minds again, let's go ahead and purchase uh, the Cargo Bob for $1,800,000. You may recall back about two years ago on Xbox 360 and PS3, there was a glitch to buy this for $500,000. Uh, but Rockstar have made it more expensive and have finally given us an official option to purchase the Cargo Bob. Or, of course, you can purchase the Jet Sam version, uh, one from Story Mode, I believe, with this sort of um, white and red paint job. Although the one in the trailer had uh, all red, so I'm guessing, depending on which one spawns in, uh, will be the paint job you get. Let's go ahead and buy that for just under $2 million. Uh, then we will go to the Elite Travel and purchase the Volatus. Uh, so that is almost uh, 2.3 million dollars. So we've already surpassed the uh, 30 million dollar uh, spending spree. And let's go to the next one, the Nimbus. I haven't actually tried this out for myself yet, so we will be going down to the airport to take a look at that. And then finally, one vehicle left to purchase, that being the Tug. And uh, surprisingly, even though it hasn't got a description, I'm looking forward to trying this out. It's going to cost $1.25 million, which is a lot of money for a rusty boat. But I think we can use this when drug dealing. There are certain... Not drug dealing, sorry. Like, uh, contraband dealing. I'm not really too sure how or where, but there's some form of option there, I'm sure. Okay, so we bought all those. I'm willing to go down to my warehouse and get all the armor and stuff like that. We'll do that at some point. Uh, we'll get into this right now and drive back to the city. It's a little bit annoying. 
Uh, we've got to do that. Someone said the uh, helicopter looks futuristic. I believe it's based upon... I can't remember what it was called. I did a video on it the other day. But there's an actual helicopter in real life right now that looks uh, just like the, uh, the helicopter that's available in game. Are we going the right direction? Probably not. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, we are. Okay. I'm just very, very far up. So by the looks of things, uh, we did complete the drug deal. We got the ten thousand dollars, and it was after then that the game stopped saving. So it was literally when I finished the drug deal that the servers disconnected again. But right now, it's all working. So I purchased everything. I should be able to call everything in and try it out. So we are first of all going to go to. I think my warehouse is on the way. We're going to go to the warehouse. We're going to armor the brickade. Then we're going to call it in. Uh, we're going to armor the boats, and we are going to armor the plane, which is, I think, the Nimbus, which gets armored. And then, once I've done all that, and I've shown them all off, I am going to do some shout-outs. So if you guys want a shout-out, stay tuned. I'm going to guess it's going to be around about uh, 10 to 20 minutes or so. But uh, it all depends with the rocks out of sides to uh, kick us offline or not. I keep getting friend requests on the social club. You guys can add me. This is my new account. If you guys have GTA 5 on PC, uh, just add Alluvium. There's my gamer tag right there on screen. It's spelled O-L-U-V-I-U-M. My other account was banned a few days ago. Uh, it's only banned, I think, until the end of this week. But, of course, I didn't want to miss out on the updates. So, uh, the warehouse is down here somewhere, isn't it? So yeah, I had to purchase another account just so I could take part in this update. I'm so glad I did, because this update is awesome. I love it. i got to say, it's probably one of my favorite updates uh, in the game that we received. I did say that for the executives and other criminals updates, but honestly, this is probably my new favorite. Heist update was good, yes. And where's the entrance? Oh, there it is. Uh, but I do like this one, and it's brought a lot of hype back to the game as well. GTA was uh, slowly dying. Uh, someone asked how does the, uh, the brigade uh, compare to the Insurgent. Uh, in regards to its sort of shunting ability and its size, much, much better. Uh, but its explosiveness, uh, until I add the armor right now that I'm going to do, we won't know. So, let's go ahead and do that. So we can, first of all, add some armor upgrades to the... Uh, truck and we can also make the tires bulletproof We can do the same for the delivery plane. We can add some armor upgrades and we can uh, improve the jammer so basically uh, people cannot uh, Lock on to us. I believe with the homing launcher when we're flying over them and then the delivery boat We can add some armor and we can increase the speed and imagine the tug is very very slow. So uh, there we go That was quite expensive too uh, so those are purchased. Let me now exit my uh, warehouse. Let's run this way. Run, 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 run. It's a shame we don't have an assistant in the warehouse too uh, that can have vehicles delivered to us. Because right now it'd be nice if uh, we could have uh, the Pegasus vehicles delivered to us. Uh, someone said, can you stop blocking my comments? It's not me doing it. There's an auto blocking system on YouTube. Uh, it censors certain words, and uh, it decides it doesn't like them. Even the most simple of things, like hello, it'll sometimes block. So apologies if it's blocking your comments, and if you can see that it's getting blocked. It's not my fault. Uh, YouTube is doing it. So I will certainly try to solve those issues when I get two minutes after the stream. Uh, I don't really understand how it works, though, because uh, some people can comment some really bad stuff, like, you know, kill yourself. And YouTube won't ban that, but then it will ban. I need money. I explain that to me. <laughs> uh, let me call up Pegasus and have my brigade delivered. I want to take a look at what it looks like when it's armored. I haven't actually seen it yet, so this will be new to me. I'm sure it will be new to many of you guys. Uh, right now, those of you guys are trying certain words Hello, in the chat. This is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Uh, brigade. Okay. Thank you, sir. Your specialist vehicle is now ready for you at our nearest pickup station. Thank you very much. Uh, I was joking, by the way, when I said hello is a word that gets blocked. I was giving you an example. I don't think it's literally hello that gets, but it is being blocked. Okay, so this one's silver. What upgrades do we actually have on it then? By the looks of things, it doesn't appear to be... Is it not this delivery truck then? 
Is there a different delivery truck then that adds additional armor? Let's try the uh, the tires because they're supposed to be bulletproof now. No. So it's it's not this truck then that I'm adding the armor to. What is it that I'm I'm actually adding the armor to? Can you guys tell me? Do you guys know? There must be something else which I'm putting bulletproof tires on. So secure surf vehicles truck maybe delivery truck. Is there something on here that I'm that must be something I'm missing. Surely maybe it's. Uh, this one. Is this, like, armoured? Oh, there we go, there we go. This looks... Oh, just the same, by the looks of things. Oh, no, 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 okay, so... The one which we get delivered from Pegasus, that's how it works, then. The one from Pegasus... I've got two of them right now. Uh, the one from Pegasus is... Uh, doesn't get affected. It's the, the one which you... Use from your VIP ability. So once you purchase the vehicle, you can call it in for free anywhere around the map. And once you've added these upgrades, as you can see, the tires are bulletproof, uh, and there's additional armor on it. I don't know if it's going to survive any additional explosives. Let's just try it. Does it survive? Oh, okay. So it doesn't survive any explosives then, by the looks of things. Uh, just additional uh, bullets, and obviously the tires are bulletproof too. So from police, it's going to be a lot more useful. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, drive down to the airport. We're going to call up Pegasus and have them deliver the... Oh, no. Yes, yeah, let's have the, um, the tugboat delivered first of all. So we'll go down to the docks. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. Okay, How can I help you? I'm not paying any attention to what I'm doing right now. Uh, the tug, there we go. Where's Great. that going to be delivered Sir, to? I'm happy to say it's now ready for I'm going to call up Lester to get rid of my wanted level because, like I said, i got my headphones on, I can hear the police, it's extremely loud, and it's very, very annoying. So let's call up Lester. Lester, Lester, Lester. Come on, buddy. Hey, what's up? Well, how can Remove I help? wanted level. There we go, okay. <laughs> Down to the tug. So I haven't actually seen the tugboat okay. in game either yet. Leave it with creepy Uncle Lester. So this is the first time for me. Be the many, uh, first time for many of you guys too. This will be interesting. I don't think it's going to be that special, even with the uh, the armor upgrades and the speed upgrades. But I think I'm going to have to do that again. I'm going to have to call up um, the CEO services and vehicles. Is tug on there? Tug, 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 tug. Am I going the wrong way now? I think I am. Okay. I don't see tug on there. I'm probably. Scrolling past it, not paying any attention, but it might be a different vehicle. Do you guys know which vehicle is it that gets the increased speed and armor? It must be the tug, surely. But it's not on the uh, the vehicle's list, so I'm not a hundred percent sure. Am I on the right side of the? I think it gets delivered to the yeah by here with the Merryweather people, so. Let's go over here then and take this slip road down to the Merryweather section of the dock. Oops, oops, oops. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Uh, someone said, what is this piece of shit that I'm driving right now? This is the armoured version of the uh, Benefactor XLS. Basically just a, a new looking version of the Baller... Uh, the short or long wheelbase version. Nothing too special. Okay, so where is the entrance? I think I've gone past it. It's over there, isn't it? Let me drive back there. Let's, can I go? You know, I'm going to try it. I think you can walk around it. I could be wrong, though. And if that's the case, I just have to climb up board. Run into the pole. Please, please, please say I can go around. Yes, I... No, I can't. Okay. Never mind. There's the tugboat. Let's swim over to it. And there it is. So it looks pretty much identical to the one uh, in the, the sort of uh, boat house, which is on the other side of the docks. You guys may have seen some videos on it. I did one myself the other day. Uh, can we go up the ladder? It doesn't appear as if we can. Ooh, look at all the um, sort of grime on the bottom of it. If I press F, would it put me onto the boats? Oh, there we go. If I press F, it's going to climb me up the ladder. There we go. Okay, so we can't climb up it manually. You have to press F. Okay, so can we go inside here? There is a glitch, isn't there, to climb inside the, the boat. But well, they probably fixed that. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and captain my new boat. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This must be one of the biggest boats we can control in the game. I think it is the biggest boat, isn't it? It's super slow, though. I can already tell. It's going to be very, very slow. On drug shipments, this is going to be not the one to use. You guys are adding me right now on the social club. Thank you, Matthew. I will add you later once I have finished this live stream. The request came in twice. Oh, dear. This is very, very slow. So it must be the tugboat, then, that the upgrades are for, because this is incredibly slow. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do this much longer. Look how slow it is. Oh, my God. For $1,250,000, that is a lot of money to spend on something which is so slow. It hardly moves. Uh, someone said honk the horn. Okay, oh, yes. Okay, okay. That's a very good point. I imagine it makes a very loud sound, so let me try that. Get back on it. Uh, come on. Let's get up to the uh, cabin area and do that. Come on, then. Come on, buddy. Oh, damn. Can you hear that? Hope the audio is loud enough for you guys to hear that. The horn is so loud. Damn, if you're on the other side of the map, you'd be able to hear that. So that's probably the only good thing about this. It's incredibly slow, but the horn is loud, so... You know what they say? Uh, actually, I don't. I'm just chatting shit now. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, the Nimbus. I haven't tried the Nimbus out yet, so I do want to try that. Let me call up Pegasus and uh, see if I can have that delivered uh, straight away. And uh, we'll go from there. Pegasus. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Well, let's go to the... Oh, yeah, and I want to also try the cargo bob, the jet sam. I haven't seen that yet also. So we'll try the Nimbus first your of all. Our beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. Yay, we thank hope you very you're much. very happy, sir. Please, may, uh, Merryweather personnel, don't try and kill me. They usually do. Every time I come to this location, they always try to... Uh, they always try to kill me. Okay, right, let's go over to the Nimbus. Not too far away. I'm getting really tired now, by the way, guys. I've been up since, I think it was 7 this morning, which doesn't sound that special, but I've been on the grind making videos since, like, 10 this morning, so... Whew, getting tired. Okay, where is the Nimbus then? Where is she? I don't see her. It's supposed to be right... There we go. Spawned in at the end of the runway. We won't park it in the way, because of course we want to take off. It looks a lot like the Luxor. It's a little bit different. I think it's quite as long. It's uh, sort of more premium, more luxury. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look. I think if you're the CEO or a passenger in this, uh, we can do things in the back, just like you can in the Luxor Deluxe. But yes, we can see wine. I'm guessing there's probably TV too. I can't actually lean around the corner to see. But uh, let's go ahead and take off and see how quick this thing is. I'm guessing it's going to be a very fast uh, jet. It's taking off pretty quick. Let's take the uh, landing gears up. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. That's not good. That's not good. I pressed F as opposed to D, which is uh, <laughs> which is move. Damn. Uh, someone said it's not watch TV, it's just drink smokes. Okay, okay. Uh, well, that was a very short play, but um, <laughs> I've just lost it now, so nothing more that I can do. Uh, but what I can do, of course, is have Merryweather, not Merryweather, sorry, I can have uh, Pegasus deliver my cargo bobs. So let me see if I can have that delivered right now. Hello, Pegasus. This is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. Okay, How the Jetsam version. There we go. Thank you, and that's sir. in the airport. Your spectacular soon. aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest Let me just go airfield. ahead and steal this car right by here. And I think that's going to be the last vehicle I'm going to take a look at for this live stream. And like I said, I'm going to try and do another live stream now in a couple of days' time. Once I've sussed out the whole CEO and VIP system, and try and show you guys some of the best ways to make money with the new uh, VIP work, the contraband drug dealing system, and stuff like that. Uh, from what I can see, there's a load of potential when it comes to making money with it, but I'm sure there are different tricks that we can perform and use to uh, make it the easiest uh, possible. And I think I'm stuck on in between these two cars. Let me just steal this uh, Dominator right by here and get over there. 
Uh, someone said these servers are not working for them. There's limited access. Yes, that's exactly what I've been experiencing all evening. That's why the live stream earlier was delayed by half an hour. And that's why I couldn't buy these vehicles until now. There we go, just crash into that. So this is the final vehicle to test out, the Cargo Bob. It's probably just the same as the standard one with a different livery. It does look pretty cool to be fair. It's a shame we can't actually choose the liveries for this. If we could uh, make our own or, or choose between three or four, that would be pretty cool. But we don't have that option. Let's press, is it G or E to release the grapple? There we go. Okay, so that's it for the new Cargo Bob. Nothing really much more to say. Someone said, did, uh, do try out the um, Volatus. Okay, okay. I haven't actually tried that out uh, in this live stream. I have tried it out on the Xbox One. But what I'll do now is I'll go to my uh, headquarters, the maze bank. I will then go inside and then have the uh, the vehicle delivered to me. So we'll just fly over there very, very quickly. And after that then, after that, so just completing that request, I will then do some shout outs. So get ready, guys. I'll probably be about two minutes or so. And I will then do it. Still got a thousand people watching. Hopefully I can shout everybody out. It's going to be difficult, don't get me wrong. But uh, hopefully if you guys don't spam the chat too much, I can get everybody done. And there's also, I didn't realize, uh, there's a system on YouTube I can do to get more comments to load. If you're watching the watch page right now, you can probably only see about uh, 10 of the recent comments. But uh, there's a live streaming tool that I can use to see something like 50 comments. So hopefully... I can go through all the comments without missing anyone for a shout out. Okay, so let me go onto the roof. Someone else has just added me. Thank you very much. Uh, land. I just hold E. Why is it not working? Oh, there we go. Okay. It takes a while. Look at that there with all the Gaussian blur surrounding the uh, headquarters. Okay, so I'm inside the Mace Bank office. Let's turn around. Good to see you, boss. I'm sure it is. Give me a blowjob. Okay, right. Uh, exit via vehicle. Let's go and use the Volatus. Let's use it straight away. It's $1,000 straight from Pegasus, but of course, you get it direct to your roof as opposed to the nearest location, just like I did for the other vehicles. So, here we go. Here is the Volatus. Another very cool and elegant looking helicopter. Look at that. It's sort of a mix between the Swift and the Super Volato, but... There are some different features, and it is a very good looking helicopter. Again, we can't really change the color on this one. I think in the back there is champagne, smokes, TV, stuff like that. Let's go for a quick fly around the map. Can we land this on the apartment roof? Or on the, so not apartment roof, the uh, warehouse roof, or can we not do that? Let's just fly over there very, very quickly. Okay, you guys are ready for shout outs. I will get to them very, very shortly. Uh, might as well just say it now. If you guys want to shout out, go ahead and leave a comment right now on the live stream. So once I have tried this out, I will then start them without any delay. I don't think there's a landing pad on the warehouse itself, so that's not an option. Oh well, there we go. So I have shown off pretty much all the new vehicles in this update. Apologies for the delays and all the different stuff. We have had some issues with the Rockstar servers. Hopefully you guys, however, have enjoyed the update so far. I myself certainly have. And uh, like I said before, it's definitely my favorite update. If you guys could leave a like on the live stream, again, it would be greatly appreciated. I think we've got around about 1,300 right now. It's really impressive. I am so grateful for you guys doing that. And like I said before, numerous times, I will try and do some giveaways later this week. If the fan messenger is working, you guys can sign up to that. Link in the description. So uh, anyway, let's land on this roof. Oops. Land, try and land on the roof uh, properly, and then we're going to do some shout outs. Oh my god, my scales are doing this, is just terrible. Okay, let's get out and stand right by here for a moment, and let's do some shout outs. Oh my god, the chat right now is going crazy. <clears throat> let's try this. Okay, so shout out to Corey, shout out to Blank Gamer, shout out to Alex, shout out to the Cool Gamer, shout out to the Slayer Back, shout out to Asian, shout out to Dan, shout out to Husky, shout out to uh, Alex, shout out to Alexander, shout out to Tu, shout out to Yenan, shout out to uh, Power Hitter, shout out to Wales, shout out to uh, Boom, shout out to Unknown, shout out to Gonzalo, shout out to Khan, shout out to Jonathan, shout out to Weasel63, big shout out to you man, you're 
like in every live stream I do, so I cannot thank you enough. Uh, shout out to Christopher, shout out to YouTube, shout out to Twitch. Fuck it, why not? We'll go through all of them. Shout out to uh, Crunch, shout out to uh, Douglas, shout out to McFreeze, shout out to this helicopter noise is really annoying me, so I'm not going to sit in that. Uh, shout out to Weasel again, shout out to Luke, shout out to Redwood, uh, shout out to Codboss, shout out to Leafy, uh, shout out to Tony, shout out to Mark, shout out to Thomas, shout out to uh, Darwin, shout out to Akib, shout out to Matthew, shout out to Mark, shout out to Adam, shout out to Janet. I'm trying to play GTA and look at my other monitor to read out shout outs is hard, so if I crash, apologies. Uh, shout out to Skate King, shout out to uh, Rush, shout out to Alexander, shout out to Splits, shout out to Sudden, shout out to Wales for the win, yes, shout out to you, I'm also Welsh, though I don't sound it. Uh, shout out to uh, Dustin, shout out to King J, shout out to Extremes, shout out to uh, Joseph, shout out to uh, TWON, not really too sure how you want to pronounce that. Uh, shout out to Ollie, shout out to uh, Rihanna, shout out to Lizzie, shout out to uh, Adidas, shout out to Joe, shout out to RS Gaming, shout out to uh, Thomas, shout out to Basic. Let me pull over by here, I can't do shout outs and driving at the same time, it's too hard. Uh, shout out to Extreme, shout out to Christopher, shout out to The Challenger, shout out to Real, shout out to Pooh, shout out to. Uh, is that. Ivied, sorry if I said that wrong. Shout out to uh, Joe Frags. Shout out to Captain. Shout out to Armeno. Shout out to Mayo. Shout out to uh, some of you guys have these like really difficult to pronounce names. I don't even know how you want me to pronounce them. So apologies if I don't shout you out for that reason. Just try and change the YouTube name to something a little bit easier. Uh, shout out to King. Shout out to Luke. Shout out to Jamie. Shout out to Sam. There's also a Samuel in there. Shout out to you. Shout out to Cool. Shout out to Armin, shout out to Septic, shout out to Tommy, shout out to Vortex, shout out to Donut, shout out to Killer, shout out to Edman, shout out to Brad Frags, shout out to uh, GTA, shout out to Christopher, shout out to Khaled, shout out to Sergio, shout out to Hot Rod, shout out to uh, Dan126, I believe, shout out to uh, Malid, shout out to Mohammed. Shout out to Christopher again, shout out to S. Burn, shout out to uh, Boom, shout out to Carpool, shout out to Squeaky, uh, shout out to uh, X Real Gaming X, he asked me to say mask, uh, shout out to uh, Cavalio, shout out to Matthew again, shout out to Tom, shout out to Matty, shout out to uh, Optic, shout out to uh, Caleb, PewDiePie, please stop spamming the chat, thank you very much. No, I will not give you a shout out. Shout out to uh, Mo. Shout out to uh, Burrito. Shout out to Tom. Shout out to Daniel. Shout out to Corbin. Shout out to Basic again. Shout out to Crunch. Shout out to Crash Games. Shout out to uh, I Am Dreams. Shout out to Abraham. Shout out to Eli. Shout out to uh, Luke. Shout out to Bruce. Shout out to. Uh, EJ, I think it was, or Elijah, sorry if I said that wrong. Shout out to Stars, shout out to Input Ginger, shout out to Bailey, shout out to Zach, shout out to uh, Zombie Killer, shout out to uh, Joakim, shout out to uh, Sherry, shout out to Husky, or Husker, sorry, shout out to Thug, shout out to Boomer, shout out to Lucas. I'm going to do five more and I'm going to wrap things up because right now I'm just seeing the same names over and over again. Shout out to the Pixel Gamer, shout out to Eddie, shout out to Atomic, shout out to uh, Boost, shout out to Carlos and finally shout out to Angel. Apologies if I haven't given you guys a shout out, literally this, the chat right now is going crazy. There are 815 of you guys and many of you are just spamming it over and over again. So I keep saying the same names but hopefully I've done most of them. If I haven't, just tune into my next live stream and I'll try and get you done. 
But with that being said, guys, that is it for this live stream. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, if you guys could leave a like, it would be greatly appreciated. Also, let me know as well, what is your favorite thing from the new update? Is it a new vehicle? Is it a new feature? Is it the option to become a CEO and buy an office and warehouse and stuff like that? So go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then make sure you do. I upload all the latest and the greatest GTA Online content. So with that being said, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.